And we are now live. I need right. to tweet. Oh crap, I forgot I need to tweet. Good job. Uh, You're a prepared. professional streamer. Everyone behave for a few minutes. No. Streaming real? Yeah, Bracky will... behaving. I will actively no, misbehave, that's why you told me that. It's Everyone just behave. Dad mage. I'm gonna start messing with the thermostat. Oh. <laughs> I just turned off my heater because it was getting a little too hot. It's supposed to be 10 degrees next week. What happened to the minus 40? I know! Last week? It, it came, it threatened, it, it cracked its knuckles at us, did a punching motion. We all got scared and then it left. It was like, you thought, you thought. This is the least winter winter that we've ever had, it's I feel a like. It's <laughs> winter. You know what's great though, Shay? What? The the urge to paint minis and the negative forty weather created an equinox that kind of changed my life <laughs> because I couldn't prime my minis outside at all because it was just too cold. <laughs> so I finally, finally have learned to clean my airbrush by memory, and now I've been using it significantly more. There you go. See, the cold can be good for some things. Is it cold ever bother you? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of weird, though, because you do adjust to it to a, to an extent, because, like, if it's minus 10, and it goes from, like, minus 40 to minus 10, suddenly it feels warm outside, whereas other people would be freezing, you know? Like... <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, it's that type of cold, like, when it gets so... When it gets really dry cold, as long as you're, like, covered and you're not, like, your extremities aren't out, like, you're good. Yeah, Bracky, it is a, uh, blistering 14 degrees Celsius where I'm at. I hate you. Uh, we have a heartfelt message from, like, Tabuya. They saw all the mean and angry things we said, uh, <laughs> in our last session. <laughs> they Wait, saw what? all the angry stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like, Tabuya, thank you so much for the 5,000 bits. I just want to let you know that I saw you nerds when I say about me the previous session. I was super grateful for all the kind words and praise you gave about you gently flipping the rough day away in a good one. And I appreciate that so much. Well, I'm glad. Thank goodness you're here, though. God. Yeah. <laughs> Traitor. Not Traitor. Did you know something more? <laughs> <laughs> like, we were just like, yeah, I can't believe Tabuya hates us and abandoned us. And <laughs> How dare you. I'm glad, I'm glad we could do that, like, Tabuya. It's just, you know, it's a sign of, like, you've been here all the time. We, could, we know that you're good for it, so it's all... We missed fun. you. We missed you, yeah. We see you. We see you. We all see the time, you. even when you're sleeping. We see you, we know. Which is that you like Tabuya. Speaking of people who watch us, uh, Legendary Frog actually is all cut up with Dungeon of the Mad Mage, by the way. Oh hmm. god, that's wow. either a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, he sent me he sent me a screenshot of you guys like running into the death tower at the first time. It just sent me, oh no, in like <laughs> bolded letters. That's how I felt when we ran into the death tyrant. <laughs> you know? Same, bud. <sighs> good luck, box cheese. I won't say anything more than that due to spoilers, but we're gonna give people time to kind of load in here. I did all my announcements, so there's hope for me yet. <sighs> oh, Gives me time to eat these carnitas. Oh, I enjoy the box cheese, enjoy it. <laughs> Have a fun time. Savor it. I gotta, uh. I, I should show you my bases, by the way, Zan. I finished all my uh, Termagant bases for my Leviathan box. Oh. The Lee, 49. Thank you so much for the tier 1 sub for 39. 10 more months. 39 months! Hello, at work right now. We'll be catching the VOD. Best of luck all around. I hope you do a good work at your business. I built in a funeral to be here. I hope you didn't. <laughs> I know, I just told like to be that they don't uh -oh. have to feel pressured to be here yeah, after no, what we said. No, no, to go to your like we're here. The bot is here. Go to Yeah, a... go to the fun times funeral. Jeez. Oh, oh goodness. Yeah, just because we teased you about it. I I about Listen. you know being your second choice. You can <laughs> you can life, do man. life. Live your life. <laughs> I, I, I joke. seriously, if someone came into like Unexpectable tradition, they're like, yeah, my son is being born at the hospital, but I want to be here instead. I'd be like, you are <laughs> awful. I want, 
I would have said they get to steal that one person. Baby. I would like, I'd be like, I'm gonna ban you. Go be with the birth of your child. Now, if you're watching us while you're at the hospital, that's a different thing. That's okay, but it's make a, sure to be yeah, ready. You know, make sure it's, it's a, a doctor. It's a pretty long process, so you can do both at the same time. So dude, dude. Dude, it's the doctor and, and the patient are, are having the they're having the baby and he's watching the stream on his phone next to it. He goes, yeah. push a little, a little. don't <laughs> scream when you're pushing, I can hear what the funny man says. Hey, 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 doctor, pass me the ox cord. Come! Oh my god. <laughs> Come. Hey, Bonnie, I made it for my child's birth and so we named it after you. You know what's really funny about that striker class? I had a friend of mine, a gaming buddy of mine, who was a really nice guy. Uh, he lived in uh, Newfoundland, actually. Um, and I remember, like, he had a girlfriend. Uh, and he was mentioning, like, hey, my girlfriend's acting, like, kind of, she doesn't really want to talk to me. Something seems to be bothering her, but I don't know how to approach her. And I was, like, a teenager at the time. Like, I was, like, 16. And I just straight up went, you should take her out for ice cream. And he was like, you know what? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just take her out for ice cream. And he took her out for ice cream. And it turns out she was pregnant and she didn't know how to break the news to him. And so they had ice cream together and she told him and then they had a That's child. So sweet. And then he came back wow. and he told me what happened. Really? I'm like, oh, you should name the child after me. If it's a girl, use my real name. And if it's a boy, use Monty. And they were like, we could actually do that. Yes, <laughs> but I don't think we're going to do that. And I was like, oh. <laughs> that would be the oh. weirdest. That was like, that was my teenager being like, name it after me! <laughs> Gary fucking Oak, thank you so much for the tier one sub for five months, thank you so much. That was when someone named their child after a character in Unexpectables, I was like, please be like a normal name. They chose Willow, uh, or no, Isla, it was Isla, they chose Isla for the kid. And I'm like, that's a good name, that's a good child name, thank you. Don't yeah. name it Scarbles or something messed up like that. <laughs> oh yes, my oh, child Scarbles. <laughs> Now, Brack, yeah, I could see as a Scarbles, but, you know... Yeah, I could see a Brack. I would not. <laughs> Brack identifies as a Scarbles. <laughs> right. I think Scarbles would be a good cat name, though, to be fair. Like, a cat It absolutely dog. would. Oh, yeah. I think a cat would be better. Oh. I love learning about Monty's real life. It's always interesting to be. That wasn't even real life. That was, like, an online friendship that I had. That guy was awesome. He was really nice. So online friends aren't real. Is well, what you yes, just said? but yeah, but it's, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, whatever, man. Damn. Hey, Monty, Hurt. we name our child the End. Jesus, <laughs> I shall name my son the Silver King. Oh my God, dear Lord. It's kind of like the, the the parents who name their kids like Riku and Sora, and it's just like, oh God. I so, uh, I this have friends. <laughs> I have friends whose friends named their child. I think it was Alejandro Sephiroth. No, Sephiroth Alejandro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, man. And they named their child, I think it was uh, Axel after Axel from Kingdom Hearts. See, that's a kind of cool name though. Like Axel sounds cool. That's a badass but name. But yeah, Sephiroth? That's Sephiroth big, is that's pretty. That's an actual name. <laughs> that's a bit too cringe. much. That's cringe. Oh. This is my child, Optimus Prime. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Axel is a cool name, though. That feels like a real name. Axel sounds cool. Because it can be a lot of things, but they were they were specific about Kingdom Hearts. It's still, it's still a cool name. Kingdom Hearts fans are built different, man. Dude, I love Kingdom Hearts. I should know I I'm there for one. I love Kingdom Hearts, but I fucking hate Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> That's most Kingdom Hearts fans, it feels like. Yeah. I tried, man, but I, I fought the Clayton boss fight and he healed his ass, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm out. I'm not doing this shit. This is fucking garbage. I can't. It was the 3DS game that came out that I bought, and I, I was like, I couldn't yeah, do it. You're like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Pro CD, I was like, what's going on? ProCD has a great video where it's just like, this is what it's like, like with Kingdom Hearts, where it's just like, what the fuck is going on? And then a Disney character shows up and you're like, let's go! It's so bizarre. I had a friend explain the plot to me, and then once he started talking about multiple dimensions and time travel, I was like, yep, I'm out. <laughs> I have checked out. Oh. God. He goes places, man. The All games right. that you need a textbook to understand. <laughs> Alright. Enchiladas have been consumed. I am good to go. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Alright. Well, with that, I think, are we all good to get going? How are, you, are you guys ready to go chat? 
Are you? Are, are you? Ready? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, Same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's wow. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe, maybe you have an ult account? Wow. <laughs> Calm wow. down, Crossmarks. Sure, You're going too insane right now. This is my. I child. mean, I have nothing better to do. This is my child, Rebu Esafrez. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Games that need a textbook to play as they play D and D. Shush. Yeah, no, that's a little different. It's true, but you Anyways. shouldn't say it. <laughs> right. <laughs> God damn. I meant textbook for the plot. Okay, Ugh. well, playing a pre-made. Yeah, uh, uh, never mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. You're just digging that hole, Shay. Stop it. God. Get out of here, like Tabuya. Stop calling this out. <laughs> Like, Tabuya, how could you do this to me? Listen, I can easily explain to you the plot of Kingdom Hearts in the next six hours. Quickly, Boo, uh, animate an intro for us. <sighs> yeah, just okay, get, get on it. Like, another month. No. Here! We have five minutes. That's, our, that's ours. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> that's a good way to start off. <laughs> Especially for Is us. this... Is this a, a super shitty, sketchy, like, Scooby-Doo parody? Oh, I can do that. <laughs> I already did that before. <laughs> like, the lowest of lowest budget. Just as low as the original Scooby-Doo cartoons. God, those were made on a fucking, like, napkin. Alright. <laughs> well, you guys have collected. What did you do? Did you guys get a hand? Is that what you chose? A hand? It was a I hand. took a finger, personally. I, I well, I got the head. Cool. We got some body parts. We we only need one body part, but we took a few just in case we lost one. Put them in the cornucopia. It's so somebody's messed definitely up. gonna take those. And I believe Nyx, you were opening this door, correct? Yeah, but now that I look at my map, I realize it just loops to the God. Alistair I don't, statue. I so. don't know how to feel about that spell because it says body parts. I don't I don't know if the entire body is a body part. I mean, like, technically it was part of the body, so it would count. <laughs> Nyx, as you open the door, it reveals a hallway. Completely pitch dark. Well, I see a hallway, but now that I look at my map that I totally completed uh, since I started to open this door, I think it loops <laughs> around to <laughs> the Halister statue that Daddy has found. You think oh. or you know? <clears throat> it looks quite a bit like it would loop around. So you think? <sighs> Am I getting that right? Yeah, she already walked in. Give me one <laughs> second here. I just gotta <laughs> check something really, really fast. Oh, if I teleport. No, no, <laughs> it's. I'm having, I'm, I'm having an issue with the revealing thing on, on roll 20. I have to reset it. Just give me two seconds here. It's a little laggy. When he get with the program. Okay, yeah. Yes, please? Okay. Yes. Fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna oh, wander go. the I darkness. It. She'll be my life. As you look down, it seems like it curves off deeper. Uh, do these ones seem that they go up towards that Halister statue area? Uh, they do appear to go uh, northward and eastward. The smaller tunnels seem to go towards the statue that you guys found earlier, but there are some hallways down. You better check them out. It's Sorry, making no sense. Down. How was there nothing in that room? Uh, if I looked oh, at my map, there was still a door um, to the north past the thought... trap that was fell in that we didn't go in. I thought that looped around. Uh, well, it loops around, but there was a door above it. Um, that's the only one in the vicinity of this area that we didn't really go into. Let's go that way, then. 
Uh, let's just take a quick pick. Let's just let's just take a quick pick. Okay. Before we regret not going there. <laughs> All right, Nick says you turn the corner. Fum, fum. Mm, nothing. Nope. Can I roll a perception check? Go for it. We did Sunderbrook in the in the Nether Skulls room, right? Yes. Yes, we did. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. You look around. It's just a hallway. Hmm. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> just a couple of alcoves. Nothing in there. Do you want us to keep going, Lionel? <clears throat> Why are you looking at me? Actually, I'm not really looking at you because everybody else has left Wisp and I. Sorry. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? In our defense, you left us. We remained in the same position. To be fair, to be fair I wasn't <laughs> looking because we know what to expect at this point. They're just waiting for us to fall in a hole so they can laugh at us. Yeah. Probably. No, I'm waiting for you to fall in a hole so I can cry at you. <laughs> Thank that, you. That, that, is, that is not going to help. Such a weird, like nothing in that area. Hm. It's a vibe corner, you know. Can you measure the corner for vibes. Sixty feet down for me, Nix. The top, the top, the hallway seems to tunnel deeper. Uh, it seems to keep going south, which if I pick up my map, uh, it kind of looks like it's headed towards the lava direction that I was stuck behind earlier. Hmm. I was... I so. Yeah, I'm looking at my map, I was on a hallway that was kind of a, it was cut off there was lava on both sides i think that's kind of the direction we're headed towards hmm. what do you think do we keep going down it's peak you are the exploring expert you made the choice this this space, the door appears to have been uh, broken open. You also notice that the door appears to have lead on the back side of it. Lead? Hmm. Uh, like, in which way is it on the door? Like, So if you can see that one of the doors has been pulled off, the other door just hangs like loose on one of the bolts on the hinges uh, and as you kind of look inside of the back of the door so where it would be facing inside of the space it, it has like a line of lead on the inside uh, don't spells usually like, get blocked by lead so like maybe there was something hidden in here once upon a time I don't I, uh... if that thing I don't want to play like divination spells like get limited well... by lead Divination, yes. It's lead can prevent divination. Seems like something smashed its way in or smashed its way out, though. As you look inside, the walls are 10 feet high and they're lined with stone bricks that are veined with little pieces of gold. Hmm. <clears throat> gold veins and more. Uh, there's gold veins in the wall. Gold, gold what? Gold veins, like uh, you know the type that like you, you would mine. Gold. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> I... Just in the wall. 
Is it, like, throughout the entire wall? It seems to be, like, spattered throughout on the various different bricks. It's, like, part of the brickwork. Weird. Huh. Okay, so they, about they, mining? So they, they, they didn't no. build the room they carved it? No, it looks like, like they, they built bricks with veined gold in them and then stacked the bricks in this room. Huh. Say, oh. um, I'm going to say Wisp and Bertrand, roll me a history check. Oh, yeah. Here comes the intelligent Wisp. Here comes the equally intelligent Bertrand. Whoa. How equally are we talking? Through our powers combined. Oh, Huge. no, actually, I have plus one. Doing you have plus thing. nothing. I have an old comparison to Wisp. I've got <laughs> uh, Bertrand, as you kind of imagine you peek in, right? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. You look inside and you you look at the lead line inner door and you're like, oh, this is this is a dwarvish vault. This appears to be a vault of dwarven make. Broken in. Thaddeus is gonna run up behind and say, Zunderbrook. Oh, true. As you say, well, just inside. As you say, Zunderbrook. Nothing happens. Oh, I got my hopes up. Right. I got my hopes up. You can never no, get your okay, hopes up. Okay, that's kind of what I expected. I just want to do one after for a long time. Okay, continue expecting. It's gonna uh, you know, it was a good idea. I Well, perception check the room, see if maybe somebody forgot something that was hidden here. Go for it. Uh, 29. Uh, Nix, as you kind of scour the room, you find uh, that one of the bricks has come loose. And you kind of pull it out and hold it. It's like five pounds. Uh, and on the other side of the brick is actually, it seems to also be lined with lead as well. It was totally like you said a vault and they used lead to hide whatever was in here. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, so the one that, you find nothing else. So the one that I found has like gold veins in it though, right? All the brickwork no. in this room has gold veins in it, uh, and on the other side, it has lead on the back, it seems. Okay. Uh, which room is this in? The brick? Uh, I'm writing it in my notes. Usually you give us the room for later. Oh, yeah. uh, I will say this. The value of the brick is probably uh -huh. given not very high, especially not high enough to warrant like a five pound weight, to cool. be honest. It Good would probably only count for like one gold piece. The only person no. in our party that would have taken the brick is no longer with us. No! You Yay. can give it as a gift. No! Uh, here, have a brick of <laughs> Can we mail a bait? brick from the Undermountain? Well, can we Can we put a little... Absolutely you can. <laughs> it's a Gucci brick. It's a Gucci brick. So maybe it's somebody carry the brick so we can mail it to, to, to Lex. $75 Versace brick. <laughs> well, a human Ooh. Ooh. This is the moment to make up for, for his shattered yeah, family. You should DM Zoran randomly after the session and be like, hey, you're getting a brick in the post. <laughs> <laughs> the other human will carry the five pound Versace brick. <laughs> you go for it, you carry the you Versace write brick. write that in your inv inventory, by the way. <laughs> All right. Five pound Versace brick. Just, I just imagine like the, the picture like Freaking <laughs> like va va, <laughs> showing the fucking, like modern. Oh, Lex is gonna be so proud. Always thinking of him. <laughs> he lives in me. <laughs> He's probably gonna be unimpressed with like the splattered gold veins in there. <laughs> <laughs> or love overly you, love impressed. You, Zorin. <laughs> Well, it wasn't worthless. We found a brick for Lex. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, that's good. Well, it makes sense. This used to be an, a, a dwarven, like, construction, so... Whatever treasure they got from here either went to Nether School or went to, you know, the, the Mad Mage. Mm -hmm. Alright, Monty. I have oh, added it to my character sheet. Thank you. Uh, Nyx. Uh... Yeah. This door also has a lead door uh, that appears to be bent inward at the bottom. Uh, and it, the, 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 sorry, I, the English. 
Um, the lead door that probably once secured this door is bent inward at the bottom, uh, creating a small sort of like doggy door style size triangular hole through the bottom. So you have to kind of like duck in to go inside. Yeah. Probably not too bad for the gnome. Uh, as, as you look inside, the bricks in this room appear to be made out of obsidian. Uh, the bricks in this room are made of obsidian. Also, I just made sure to go in the room and yell Thunderbrook because we need to. Oh yeah, two the people room. already beat that to you. Beat that. No, but they they said it outside I, I actually in the corridor. Went in the room. Yeah, we okay. did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Nick went in after was went in. Well, you got another one you can do. Yeah, yeah, come over yeah, here. Yeah, I'm not going in this room. Yeah, you can know. enter. Ah, uh, yes, the obsidian yeah. room. Go, go on, wizard. Go enter the obsidian room. You got this. Oh, uh, enter the obsidian room. <laughs> right. As you enter inside obsidian. the obsidian room, nothing happens. Yeah, it's it's Thunderbird. Yeah. All right, might as well take a peek into this one. All right, as you yell Thunderbird, nothing happens. One day. One day. Uh, Thaddeus, as you I... get close to this room, uh, it begins to get hotter as you see an ambient glow coming from this door. Hmm. Thunderbrook! As you yell Thunderbrook, you hear. <laughs> Roll stealth check, please. Uh oh. <laughs> as he yells. This counts as Thunderbrook doing something. <laughs> It does. Oh, yeah. Kind of. As you see flying and landing and perching. Oh, very good. Oh. You. Oh, <laughs> my God. As <laughs> a magma method lands and looks around, seemingly have heard you. It's just a little rat. He's going to start pointing at the door. What? I got this. Shoot. Okay, I should narrow go it. for it. Sneak attack, because you you guys weren't noticed. There's no way we were walking past that door without it spotting us. <laughs> I do I do appreciate your uh, Porky Pig impression there. Oh, thank you. 19 absolute hits. Yeah. Got 10 piercing, and then we get sneak attack. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, alright. It explodes. <laughs> Instantly dying. Let me see if they notice. Because he went off by himself. <laughs> I'd like everyone to roll initiative, please. Fuck! Zonderbrook! <laughs> uh -oh. Did you see their frame flying by the door and just... <laughs> He just atomizes. Oh, look at you go, Wisp. <laughs> oh. Ooh, 21 my initiative. Button? There's a button. Here. Also, I, I posted the uh, first verse to our intro theme in our chat. <laughs> I, saw. I saw that. What is, what is it? Here to the under mountain the with Cop Swanson. <laughs> oh no, we gotta oh, run. <laughs> I shit, I fuck, I oh, shit, I, I fuck. Love it. Okay. Uh, is Gob Swanson entering the battle? <laughs> no. Okay. You can you can go back a little bit. Alright. Give me one second here. Yeah guys, we can take over this floor. <laughs> God, they see their friend exploding and they are ready to fight, man. Those are some very, very stupid imps. Well, I mean, they wanted to take over, uh, you know, Nether Skull's domain, so. Yeah, that's gonna go. That's gonna work great. remember last time we had the luxury of distance now they're all gonna get up close
And that's the problem for the people in the corridor. Hopefully the lava's not below you, Thaddeus. It'll come right up on you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Ah, shit. And there's the shrine of the Silverman. Opened the vaults. They stole from the dwarves. Where's the loot? I don't know I need. Like I am, I'm legit terrified that the, the loot sign is <laughs> actually loot now. <laughs> 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 I'm actually mad if it's going to be the case. Every, everything else is a trick. Oh, we didn't tell chat, but uh, chat, I finished my map and that those double doors with the H on it uh, look like they lead to a dead end. They connect to one unlike the other corridors. Uh, Wisp, I need you to roll me a d20 real fast, please. We need to confirm that. 19. Okay. Did they also roll a that 20? Yep. Rude. Oh, yeah. They have the same modifier as you, too. So rude. Uh, Nyx, did you roll initially? Oh, you did, okay. Have... Does a nat 20 beat a higher number? Yes. And your initiative counts? Yeah, I think natural 20 always goes first, and natural always 1 goes always first. goes last. Yeah. Okay. Thaddeus, Lionel. At least he's not like the one in my first campaign that I joined. Where natural 20 gave you a double turn, and natural 1 means you lose a what turn. What the heck? Turn, that yeah. sounds broken. I hate it's that. the worst, dude. Yeah, uh -oh. I don't do that. That, that just is not fun to me. You nope. have a 1 in 20 chance of shitting your pants. At the very least, uh, like, uh, uh, the most I would ever do for a natural 20 is like you get extra like 10 feet of movement on the, your first turn or something. Alrighty. That'd be like, the only benefit I'd ever do. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, Wisp, you hear immediately, like, giggling and movement and rawr, kind of screaming noises as the explosion of the method seems to have attracted a bit of a crowd, actually. Mm. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of things. Uh, I think I'll cast Bless at second level, targeting everyone here except myself. All right. Everyone here, including Gob Swanson? Uh, no, just the, the four in combat. You got it. So everyone but me One, who's in combat. Two. I'll go red for a uh, concentration. Here we go. You all feel slightly invigorated by the power of Wisp's God. Uh, that is your action, yeah. I believe. Yep. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, kind of hold my position, and that's my turn. All right. That brings us to the enemy's turn. Let's see. Oh, that's right. There's oh. a potential that we could have lava children climbing towards us as well. Funny that. Shit. Thaddeus. No! As you look behind you, you see immediately charging towards you a lava child. No! Oh, from this direction. Okay, let's go. You're wearing metal armor. Right? Oh. Uh, does Elvin Chang have his metal armor? I believe so. It's chainmail. Why are you wearing chainmail? You're a sorcerer. <laughs> Listen, it gives me additional AC. And so it's not chainmail per se, it's elven chain. Elven chain weave together. Oh dear God. Chain Chainmail. It's more like a shirt, really. Undershirt. Oh my God, there are so many. <laughs> flying overhead into the room. Oh, actually. Okay. 
something should have happened, but someone moved their token before the fight started. Oh. oh. Technically, never mind. Ignore me. Ignore me. Okay. Uh, did somebody move their token? I, I, I think I, I fucked something up, so don't worry about it. However, the Magnum Biffets, uh mm. fly in onto the scene as well. That ends the enemy's move, because they just dash towards you. Uh, that oh, Thaddeus moved the token. Oh, yeah, Thaddeus moved his, his token. I just No, no, I didn't even move my target. I'm it the one who moved it. I'm the one who yeah, moved yeah. it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So ignore me. Uh, all right. That brings us to Nyx. It is now your turn. Nick? Nick? Yeah, Murder. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, because uh, I can attempt to hit this one next to Bertrand, but it's going to explode on Bertrand. <laughs> Shay is downloading <laughs> the entire map. <laughs> I'm not. I would uh, get punished by Monty if I did that. No, no, I don't. I I <laughs> If you, if you need to, like, explode them, because that makes the most sense, I mean, the alternative is I melee them and then they explode on me anyways, so just just do it. <laughs> Either way. D do it. We've got an explosion foot range and it hits all four of us. Me too. Oh. I'm really excited for that. I'll explode. I'll, I'll <laughs> 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 you guys are fine, right? <laughs> we all get a D4 from the blast. <laughs> Um, if it's saving throw, that is. Bertrand, think... I'm really sorry if this explodes on you. Just do it. I deserve it. No, you don't. <laughs> Nick's... Why are you I... like this? I'm gonna make Nick's roll with disadvantage. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Nick's intentionally changes her target. <laughs> <laughs> Misses on purpose. Misses on purpose. I can't do it. Wow. Uh... 25. Absolutely hits. <laughs> Add sneak attack because it's within five feet of the allies. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. It blows the fuck up. Is yeah, 35? It, it sure does. As this thing explodes, I need uh, creep within five feet, which is just you, Bertrand. I need to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Whoa! Oh, you're so nice. good! No. You, He's so nimble. He's so Nyx cool. blows it up and explodes. I like to imagine, Bertrand, you just extend your arms, extending your, like, accepting your fate, but it's all the magma just happens to miss you, and you look <laughs> around, and you're like, oh. It's like that one movie scene where the guy, like, opens his arms to be shot by the wave of arrows, and they all miss him. Yeah. <laughs> Nick's on the other side, pretending like that was totally intentional. Like, oh yeah, no, I meant to hit him so that he didn't blow up on you. Like, <laughs> definitely the plan, the oh, entire time. The uh, I will move out of the way so that Lionel can shoot through me, or past me, because I know he can't shoot through me. Um, sure so that will be my turn. All right, that brings us to Thaddeus. It is now your turn. Okay, immediately he's just gonna like eat the, the attack of opportunity and try to move up to where Bertrand is. Okay. Guardian Protector Bertrand, please. Oh, wait, no. That's spoiling something. If you can, you might want to uh, move into the vault where uh, Lionel is. Yeah, 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 but I, I want to do something first. That's the thing. Oh, so, fair enough. Uh, Alright, so. Uh, uh, that is going to be. To hit you is going to be an 18. That hits. Alright, it's gonna be a claw attack. You take. It's, wow. Uh, unpunished. You take five points of slashing damage as you kind of run, turn around, and kind of reposition yourself in a more favorable position. Uh, uh, okay, well, I guess we're killing more children today, it seems. They're not He's gonna run again on a storm. They're not Stop children! Like that. They're just. They come from the lava. Not diagonally, I told you before. Yeah, it's sorry, gotta sorry. be... Right, immediately straight down. down. Yeah. Right there. We've agreed on He's that. He's gonna ice storm in that spot, fourth level. Right there. Alright, let me roll it is... Can you go ahead and roll the damage, please? Okie dokie. I have to roll... I think it's a con? Plus 
Total Ice of Storm. Total of 28. Uh, half, did they get half on a save? What's the, what's, is it save or suck? Uh, let me check. It's been a while since uh, they, I can't remember. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the cold damage they get. Hold on, let me double check. I'll just bring it's it It's probably up. just half of both. Uh, it should play. just say in the spell. It's like they take half damage. I did not mean to roll. Oh yeah, in what? Ignore that. I just meant to bring up the rules, that's the thing. Uh, how do I... How do I just, like, show it on the thing? Display on BTT? You just read it. You don't need to show it to us. You just need to read it in your spell description so I know what it is. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, okay. A uh, half and rock silly. Uh, okay, so it's just half. Just half. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. One... Uh, that is a 14, which I believe is a failure. Number two, that is a 12, it's a, which is a failure. It's 630, 17. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Uh, that is a failure. This is definitely a failure. That's a two. Natural 20 on the last one. Yeah. The damage. <clears throat> and, Damn, the wow. and now the methods. That is a failure. That's a natural one. That is a super failure. Duality is all <laughs> things should have. Wow, yeah. he's dead as hell. Uh, all right, and they are vulnerable to cold. So nice. the okay. efforts just pop instantly. However, uh, the lava children are immune to fire, so they take no damage from the methods. Uh, the okay. lava Fair. children take a total of 28. Give me one second just to do that. Yeah, ouch. Oh, I've lost one of my hands to a cat now. I must not fight with you one hand, one armed. All it's right. gone forever. Oh, you nice. hear a bunch of hissing, pocking magma noises as you see the two methods explode into a spray of hot molten metal. The lava children kind of wipe their eyes like a kid would wipe chlorine from their eyes from the pool and snarl at the rest of you. And before anything else, well, magic. Well, magic. Nothing funny. Alright, All right, the rest of you clean up this. It's, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. He's gonna move like over here, then back into this room. <laughs> you got it. Lionel, it is now your turn. I'm doing the exact same thing that uh, our sorcerer just did. Jesus Christ. Alright. <laughs> exact same spot, just cover it all. Bam! We've had one ice storm, yes. But what about oh. two ice storm? Alright, <laughs> same oh, oh, spot. Oh. That is a failure. DC 18, magic number. It has a 17, which is a failure. That is another 17. Natural one. And the one that succeeded last time also fails. All right, for 23 points of damage. Oh God, weird math, one second. Man, we've come so far from the days of shooting fireball into water. <laughs> now we're going to the complete yeah. opposite. We grew and changed as people. Funny fireball. Yeah, let's just throw a fireball into the lava creatures. Yeah, F's in chat right. for Fishbert. Oh my god, F's in chat for Fishbert, man. What could have been? As more yeah. ice <laughs> spills out into the area, you begin to see the more sizzling, hissing, and pocking on these lava children, but they are still standing. Son of a bitch! Why are these children so durable? They're not children! 
Alright, Lyle. I like, said, like someone else has said, it's not a child. <laughs> Alright, Bertrand, me... it is now your turn. Alright, uh, let's see. I think what would make the most sense here would probably to move to here. Uh, shouting towards Gob Swanson and Princess. Get around the corner so they don't see you! You got it, boss! And you watch as Gob Swanson takes Princess and goes around the corner. Actually, we have enough movement to get here. So we'll move there and we will attempt to swing. Swing! Bada 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 bada. Swing! Bada bada bada. Wait. No. Can oh, I wait? Is there something special I need to do against the lava children? I forget. It's a magic weapon. That metal doesn't uh, work against them. Oh, that's right. Um, we yeah, are gonna. You have, to a, you have to use a summoning thing. Yeah, you used a wooden uh, bucket last time. That is right. Yeah. If that is the case, then a Bertrand will not attack. Uh, actually, no. He'll move up and uh, can he punch with the or can he use the longbow as like a staff <laughs> to hit this thing? That's an improvised Improvise weapon. <laughs> I'll say if you want to improvise it as a club, sure. Okay, uh, that's what we'll try. We'll just try to swing at the longbow instead. Uh, it's a 15 to <laughs> that, that hits. Uh, D6, it's 1d8. D6, or D6 bludgeoning damage, yeah. Because you're not using it as a bow and arrow. You're using it as, as a hit stick, so. I went to see the Avatar movie with you. I saw how they wielded a, 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 bo a longbow. They, they can uh, that's that fair. Thing. That is fair. Uh, uh, luckily, Bertrand is very strong, so it's nine damage. Nine damage, all right. You yeah. run up to this lava child and you hit it across the face with your bow, uh, and it takes nine points of damage. It is not looking too happy as it kind of rubs its cheek, and its head kind of like cocks to the side like a marionette, and it looks very upset with you. Ah! <laughs> uh, hold on, we're gonna... <laughs> 13? 13 hits. Hey, let's go! <laughs> Maybe with my own lava. Uh, Remember, this is six... regular blast. So you can add that D4 every turn. Every oh shit! Attack. Uh, so it's six damage. Six damage. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's every attack. So uh, fourteen. Hey. Let's go. Fourteen. <laughs> hey. Get him. Uh, for seven damage. Seven damage. All right. As the rest of you guys are kind of watching the lava children, like, like climb up the side of the cliff and getting hit by the ice. You don't, you just hear around the corner in Bertrand's general direction, just a thwack, thwack, thwack noise three times in rapid succession <laughs> and the screeching of one of these elementals. <laughs> that is uh, it, Bertrand? No, this will provoke, but nope, I think it's worth it. No, he took his attack, so. Right, okay, that's the case. Bertrand's going to move back here to try and get some form of defense for his allies. You got uh, it. Picking out his second weapon just in case the bow doesn't work anymore. Uh, he's gonna take out the Versace brick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. You have to be careful with that. <laughs> that brings us to Wisp. It is now your turn. God, I wish oh, I had cool. a lightning bolt spell for the lot of you standing in a row. <laughs> it's not allowed. Um, <laughs> illegal. That goes to the violation, Shay. Uh. Come on. Yeah, right. <laughs> have a lot of options for damaging. Um, what's my vision like uh, between down here to this one? I mean, I guess I can just move, but... It's better for you yeah, to move, I, I can say, because you, you I also have Bertrand move. in your way, so... Yeah, I, it's, I'll, I'll fire out a Guiding Bolt. Level 1. That absolutely hits for 15, uh, 15 damage 15 damage and next attack against him has advantage nice well damn he didn't die mm -hmm. i didn't get hit by the cold attacks down here oh uh, yeah that one didn't yes. uh and then i'll radiant weapon the brick back there. <laughs> all right bravely use bertrand as a human shield it is now the enemy's turn i believe that the ice thing is difficult terrain correct Yes. Right. Uh, yes. Until the say, end of like next turn. I'm gonna say because you guys both put it in the same place, they don't stack. It just doesn't seem no. to be too fair. Uh, Double difficult terrain. I'm gonna dash. And get there. This one's a 
also gonna dash. That one's also gonna dash. These two disappear. Whoa. You lose sight of them. This one here is gonna go for you, Bertrand. Because you just hit right. it multiple times with a with basically a a bow. <laughs> Uh, first attack with bite. Uh, that is definitely gonna hit. That is the uh, twenty-five to hit. Actually, <laughs> man, believe it or not, that hits. Wow. Wow. Ooh, Impossible. Not allowed. Uh, you take thirteen points of piercing damage as the lava child chomps down into your shoulder. You mean eleven? <laughs> uh, second attack. Take it anyway. Roll the damage. Uh, that's gonna miss. That is a 10. They go for a claw attack against you and completely whiff it. Damn, 10 with advantage. Yeah, I rolled a natural one and a different number. Oh, he just makes it. This lava child rushes in and is gonna attack you as well, Bertrand. Uh, that is going to be a 24 to hit. That hits. The bite attack. Uh, that is going to be... 12 points of piercing damage as it chomps into your shoulder. Second attack with the claws. Natural 20. Uh, oh my god. They really hate you. Right? Uh, you take 11 <laughs> points of slashing damage on the crit. Okay. Awesome, man. Alright, I'm good. And then another lava, lava child comes through here. That ends the enemy's turn. Uh, that brings us to Nyx. It is now your turn. As this is a prime bullying right now, you're watching Bertrand getting beat up. How much damage does a twig do? We're gonna find out now, aren't we? <laughs> are you are you shanking with the twig or are you? Uh... I'm backing him like a sword. I'm taking the twig and I'm just I'm boot. Yeah, I'm hitting him. I'd say treat it like a light club, I would say. You, you can take this uh this Versace brick. <laughs> so, I will say, I don't believe you can get sneak attack off on a non-finesse weapon, so... True. Yeah. True. What else would I be able to hit him with? So I have my cat climbing on my back. Is <laughs> <Shit, laughs> it Tinto? It is! He's just trying to climb onto my shoulder! Cat, not now! <laughs> I'm in a crisis! <laughs> I'm being assaulted. Mm. Oh, but Bracky is crazy for saying cats get in the way. I, I love him, but he definitely gets in the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know... You might as well, dude. I mean, what else are you going to be able yeah. to do? Uh, yeah. I could try to insight this guy and shoot him. <laughs> you could. And I get sneak attack. You would. Okay, I'll try and insight this guy. Alright, deception check? Yeah. That is going Can to you deceive this 13. child? It absolutely fails. Yep. That hits. Okay. Eleven piercing. Oh my Jesus lord. Christ. 33. You shoot this thing, this elemental as it sees you, it begins to charge you, and you're like, ah! And you kinda shoot it with an arrow square in the forehead and it just melts into lava. Ah. Yep. That's my it's my turn. That's your turn. Alright, that brings us to Thaddeus. It is now your turn. You know, funny thing, Monty, you mentioned something about a lightning bolt. I know, I know, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna move right over there. You gave him an right idea. Here. Mm, yes, and it's a genius idea. And do a third level lightning bolt. Alrighty. Alright, dexterity 17. It's okay when it's on our side. Okay. 28. 13. It's a rule. Yeah. 16. And a 15. They all fail. 
So they all take 28 points of damage. This guy immediately next to Bertrand poofs out of existence. He's gone as he takes the brunt of the lightning bolt. This guy here takes 28 points and is still standing as the lightning crackles against the stone and actually explodes out a little the back of the hallway over here. Uh, that guy there also takes 28 points. That amount. All right. All right, and wild magic? Wild magic? Nothing, Nothing funny. funny. All I right. wasn't expecting this magma pit to be a day care. Let's wrap this up quickly, please. And that's the end of his turn. All right, that brings us to Lionel. It is now your turn. And as it reaches your turn, I believe this goes away. Yep. <clears throat> uh, am I able to see? No, I don't think I'm able to see anything from here. Oh. No, you got too many bodies in the way, unfortunately. I'm going to get over here. Peek through the Bertrand's legs. Yeah. How how are the this magma creatures looking? This guy looks fucked up. <laughs> he looks like yeah. he's having the worst day ever. <laughs> uh, he can't even. He can't. He can't even right now. The t the the rest at the south seem okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave those guys to you. I'm okay gonna use magic. Okay, in heavy quotation marks. <laughs> I'm gonna actually. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna magic missile the guy over here. You got it. Ba, 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 ba. Just level one magic <laughs> missile. Nothing fancy. One, two, three. That's 12 points of force damage. 12 points of force damage. He had 9 HP left. You fire off the missiles. They hit this thing in three different spots, and he just falls onto his back and melts into magma. All right. It's up to you guys. <laughs> that will be my turn. All right. That brings us to Bertrand. It is now your turn. All right. Believe it or not. Uh, Bertrand is going to cast Whack. Nice! <laughs> That's a really strong change of pace. Wait, can you yeah. actually use that? It's a very strong spell. Uh, <laughs> 1d6 to hit? That absolutely hits. You have advantage. You might want to fish for a crit. Yeah, might as well. No. Yep, 26 still hits, though. Uh, for 9 damage. 9 damage? Uh, I'm Two. assuming you're going for the guy to the south there. Yeah. I, I love the concept of fishing for a crit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cracky says while fishing in 14. Did you use patient fishing? <laughs> no, I'm trying to reach right now, so you know. <laughs> Second swing? Oh my lord, yeah, that hits. <laughs> For 9 damage again. 9 damage. And last swing? Yeah. 19 to hit? 19 hits. For 10 damage. Thwack! Thwack! until there's nothing but magma <laughs> left. Good job, Wombo. Doing the work. Alright, that is Bertrand's turn. <laughs> Alright, that is Bertrand's turn. Wisp, it is now your turn. Hmm. Someone just text message me. I'll kill them. I'll cut them. Hmm. Yes, I know I'm streaming. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Do you get a notification? Yeah, notifications like, hey, you can check your, your yeah. dashboard from your phone. And it's like, yeah, I know. I don't need to, to. I just click over and I can see that Theropod is here asking if we're winning. <laughs> we're always Hi, winning. Hi, That's not a feature, that's a curse. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to cast a Word of Radiance and just like, explode with light. And they're going to make a saving for us. Constitution? Constitution. Yeah. All right. One up to the north of you is... Buh, buh, buh. I say 13. That is a failure. The one to the south of you uh, will be 20, uh, 22. So that is a no success. They, take, they save or suck. I'm assuming it's save or suck. Yeah. However, yeah, it's the one to the north of you is going to take the full brunt, which is going to be 12 it's points. actually two more. Um, because it adds my wisdom onto my cantrips. Oh, so 14 because points of the damage. level thing. Oh, that's fans? Yeah, so yeah, I'm a cleric with the plus two wisdom. Forget about it. Second, let me just do some math here. Alright, you let loft, let, let loft, 
You let loose uh -huh. an explosion of radiance, and these two lava children are kind of like disappear in the light for a brief moment and kind of shake their heads. And one of them has like part of their like kind of rocky magma y, like the kind of exterior that makes up the weird kind of clown like child body is kind of cracking away, revealing the molten magma underneath. Uh -huh. Um, hello. That's my turn. <laughs> All right, that brings us to the enemy's turn. Oh, this. Why'd you put yourself there? <laughs> Why the cleric gotta be like this sometimes? Doesn't want Bertrand taking all the damage. Why is our group so suicidal? AOE. Come on. Or... Yeah. We're gonna dash. Now that the ice is gone. You dash so you can't attack. They're gonna move right there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and then... This guy here is gonna attack you, Bertrand. Alright. Oh! God! Sorry. Oh no! That means, that means it misses? No, it doesn't. God, I keep so rolling nice that they miss. ones. Thank god these things have advantage. Uh, that's gonna be a 19 to hit you. That means it misses? <laughs> Let's go. It misses? Alright, nice. That's for the bite attack, though. Second attack, claws. Uh, that is going to be a 23 to hit. That's a hit, Monty. Yeah, but it does less damage, so it's okay. You take five points of slashing damage as I roll minimum damage. <laughs> you uh, take two. This <laughs> guy here is going to swing at you, Eevee. Or Wisp. Jeez, help me. He goes out of the computer and punches Eevee. He <laughs> kills oh. Eevee. Personally I offended rolled by Eevee. The exact same number twice. That is a 13, Good. which misses. On the bite attack. Uh -huh. Second swing with the claws. Uh, well, so if they're swinging at me, I'm not wearing heavy armor, so they don't get advantage. It, okay, it's metal armor. It's metal armor I, I'm not wearing armor. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not wearing armor. You're, you're not swinging at Wisp, you're swinging at Eevee. Oh, oh, I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, but your metal is hell, so I think it has advantage anyway. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get for being well, metal, well, idiot. Well, now, if that's how we're grooming it. <laughs> Uh, Man, Lava Children would kill everyone in a metal, like, band. Uh, that's a 15 to hit, which I think misses nope. as well. Yeah, both the miss. Alright, that ends the enemy's turn. That brings us to Nyx, and it's now your turn. You were armed with a tree branch and a dream. <laughs> I, like, look at the bow in my hand, look at the tree branch in the other hand, and I'm like, Thaddeus is probably fine, <laughs> and I'll aim the arrow at this guy. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you got this. Like if Fine. I'm... He's just like screaming behind Nyx. <laughs> when is he not screaming? That hits. Yeah, yeah we've got all the trauma you need. 19 million damage. Absolutely decimated. Turned to ash. We've got all the drama you need, Mad Mage. We've got a character who does nothing but cry and a character that does nothing but scream. <laughs> the way we go around here, right? Uh, the one that falls into pits. <laughs> the one that falls in. Look, I haven't really done that on this floor. It's actually been a uh, Lionel and. Why would you twice. jinx yourself like that? The, the, cleric, <laughs> the cleric who doesn't have proficiency in religion. Right. <laughs> uh, bonus action. looking for booty, motherfucker. <laughs> we don't Goblin speak booty. That. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was wrong way. <laughs> All right. Next, uh, is that I, your turn? It does not. I know it's not going to do anything, but I'm going to bonus action swing at him with my dagger. Okay. Uh, because I get mobile if I swing at him. Fair enough. Uh, should I actually roll it, even if it doesn't do anything? Sure, because a natural 1 or a natural 20 could occur. Okay. Okay. You swing okay. into him, nothing happens. Uh... I don't want to flank with Thaddeus because I would potentially get in the way of a attack, but I will move down here. All I'll right. protect Cleric. Speaking of which, Thaddeus, it is now your turn. Okay, question. Um, okay. If I go here, here, and then here, will that still attack a uh, uh, proc nope, attack? Nope, you're still within five feet, so you're fine. 
All right, he's gonna maneuver around. <gasps> the maneuver. Oh my god. The maneuver, the and he's gonna. Uh, then he's gonna. Uh, no wait, no. He'll just do this like point blank. But point blank, why not? Uh, he's gonna uh, twin a ray of frost, the top one from the bottom one. All right, you'll have right disadvantage here, on right the top here. one. All right, that's fine. We'll start with the top one first. Okie dokie. I think it matters. Oh, we know it's an agile disadvantage. Yep. That's right. Because you're firing into melee. It does It does matter. not matter. You are shotgun blasting this thing in the face. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> eh, respectable 12. Respectable 12. He takes 12 points of damage directly to the schnoz. A working man's and ball. For, and for the other one... 16. 16 hits. Okay. It's gonna make sure. Hold on, that it's a game. It doesn't. Well, probably won't matter. Eh, 17. Yeah, I would still hit anyway. 17 points of damage to him. That and how's is, he looking? Ah, uh, he's looking okay. Okay, now this is just getting annoying, and that's the end of his turn. These things are hardy combatants. That ends Thaddeus's turn. It's weird. It is like, you ever go, like, in and out of, like, a grocery store during a, a heat wave where you're, like, you go outside and it's like, oh, and then you go inside and it's, like, really way too cold? Mm. Yeah. That is the temperature of this fight. It goes from being, like, ah, too hot, and then, ah, too cold, like, back and forth constantly. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> so uncomfortable. All the ice spells. All right, that brings us to Lionel. It is now your turn. I'm just gonna uh, pop my head over here and then look outside and be like, yeah, nope. I'm just gonna ray of frost the guy on top of where Thaddeus is. You got it. Uh, ray of frost. Where is there? Is oh! twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. Ray of frost uh, for fourteen cold damage. Fourteen cold damage. Not bad. He is still standing, but he's starting to look really rough as the ice is kind of... He's got ice on his shoulder from Thaddeus and now ice on the other shoulder from Lionel as he's just getting hit on both sides. Ice to meet you. Ice to meet you. What Back to the drowning the levels of breeding. The ice age. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> me. <laughs> Allow me to um, break the ice. That is my turn. All right, that brings us to Bertrand. It is now your turn. All right, we are going to shocking no one. Uh, I suppose it Wisp, you got that. It's fine. Thaddeus, you didn't move. No, technically, kind of. All right. All right, well, this is gonna happen. We're both gonna take some damage, but that's okay. Uh, first swing, twenty-five to hit. Twenty-five hits. Ooh, da, 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 da. For 10 damage. 10 damage. He is hanging on by a literal thread. Next swing. Kill. 14 to hit. 14 hits. For uh, 7 damage. You thwack him on the neck, and his head kind of lulls, and you just golf ball swing his head off. It splatters against the ground far away, and the rest of the body melts back into the earth. Oh. Nice shot. <laughs> nice shot. Uh, so that was one, oh, no. two, three, and do, do, four do, do, to there. Do, do, do. And he'll swing at the southeastern one. Southeastern one? The one next to Wisp? The one that's yeah. immediately next to him? Okay, you got it. Uh, do, do. Now I've got fucking Wii Sports stuck in my head. Uh, Sorry. 11 damage. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you Wii Sports, alright. You do another swing and you hear Birdie from an ominous voice out of nowhere as you just kill another one. <laughs> wow. It's Alistair. No, it's not oh. Alistair. It's a more soothing and natural voice. <laughs> Don't drink the fucking paint water, cat. Uh, that, that's Richard's turn. <laughs> Cat's trying to get a sip. Uh, love it. Silly cat. Paint water's for humans to drink by, drink by accident. That was one of the things our art teacher taught us. Do you remember that, Monty? Yeah, oh yeah. I, re I remember that. <laughs> That's why I put all my paint water in specifically jars, so that way I know it's paint water, and there won't be a mistake. Yep. The other rule I remember Ooh. is, if you use it for art, never use it in the kitchen again, which honestly is very yeah. good advice. 
And the other thing was don't put your coffee cup on the table that you're painting with, because even if it, you, you could put the paintbrush in there. <laughs> yep, that too. I've never drinking paint water, but I've certainly ruined coffee by accidentally putting uh, a painted brush in there. Oh my god, what is wrong with you people? We paint. That's what's wrong with us. All right, Bertrand, we, is that We like turn? hobbies. That's the issue. Yeah, it says Bertrand's turn. All right, that brings us to Wisp. It is now your turn. Another Mordoranian blast coming out. All right, Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Uh, that's terrible. That's a seven. <laughs> oh. Not as good this time. Big explosion. This lava child looks like he's also hanging on on a dream and a wish. All right, that ends your turn, Wisp. Dream and a wish. Yeah. I'll, I'll step down to, to, to here, give him an easier shot. All right. It is now the enemy's turn, and he is going to put the point here. Uh, he's going to go for you, Wisp. Fight attack. Uh, that is definitely going to hit. That is a 24 to hit. Yeah. You take. Did I ruin your sentinel by moving away or whatever it is for a turn? Uh, does that proc it? No, 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 no. Me moving away. Like, you can hit things that attack others, right? I can hit things that attack... I can hit an enemy that attacks... I can hit an adjacent enemy that attacks an ally, is the wording. So I moved yeah. away, so, so I broke it. No, yeah. no, 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 no. No, it so, still works. The enemy, because the enemy oh, okay. adjacent to me, it still works. Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. However, Wisp, you do take... 15 I... points of piercing, uh, piercing damage. Just a little bit. Hmm. Second swing. Uh, let's actually resolve the sentinel. Do you want to take your reaction, Bertrand? Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Get rid of that hope and a dream that he had. That oh, that's hits. a constitution save. I don't know why it's like. Oh, no. That the con save? Oh, no, okay. That was me. I saw, yeah, I saw the con save. I was like, what? I didn't roll that. Uh, <laughs> so I had like half brain function. Uh, that is nine damage budget. As this thing bites down on Wisp, like an angry woman, like fighting a raccoon that is currently stealing the garbage, <laughs> you just start slapping this thing over the head until eventually it melts into lava and disappears. <laughs> if I say that video only is like a raccoon looking for <laughs> trash, I'm gonna get slapped. Have you seen the video where the, the guy throws the raccoon? Yeah, because like, yeah, that, that's it. It's, into darkness. It's, 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 I saw the raccoon attacking my cat, so I picked up the raccoon and threw them no, into the darkness. No, it was a dog. He like frisbeed that thing. And I, he I felt, know. He felt remorse. He's like, I really don't want to hurt the raccoon, but it was it was attacking my pet and it was being No, 100%. So. I was saying, it I, it, it. I was saying the raccoon was attacking my cat in this instance. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kind of <gasps> take a breather. Oh god. I really hate this floor. Well, hopefully I'm here. I'll, we... I'll be right back. I just need water. I'm sorry. Hopefully we won't have to deal with too many of those guys anymore. Just about a few. <clears throat> They're literally right next to a river of lava. You guys took care of a bunch of them before. I mean... I think yes, we talk a good portion. Alright, go ahead. Like, how are they so durable? They, they're made of fire. They're tiny little fire people. I don't get how they're so strong. I mean, they're if you leave a stick at fire, does it do damage to the fire? Oh, God. Let's just keep moving on. No, we cannot. We the can't. dam is not here. <laughs> all, right, all right, I'm sorry. God, God has temporarily abandoned us. Give us a moment. Why? <laughs> Just be patient. We've, we've, been, we've been killing too many children, it seems. Hey, oh, God, children. they're not children. Listen, Just because like, you have a trauma of killing kids. You call them anything else. They're annoying little brats. Hey, you guys ever noticed that uh, two people outside our party can't talk at the same time? What's Our up with that? God is thirsty. I'm sorry. Why am I so thirsty now? All right, 
Wow, I feel like God has returned to us. I feel like I can move again. <laughs> God, please give us a sign. Please give Wisp a sign. Anything. Ellie was ignoring me until tomorrow. Daddy's poofs out of existence, gone forever. Ah! Oh. Ah! I don't want to go in the lava room. No, neither do I. Well, Bertram will go in the lava room. No. no Underbrook. <laughs> no more space to give. Oh, no, I have to draw more lava. <laughs> <laughs> You also oh, notice that there's a hallway across to the south. I think this... if I had to guess, that was the hallway that I was stuck behind earlier. Is that good? Uh, I mean, if you want to go back to the Roper room. All right, those were there. <laughs> I just made them go away for a minute. Yeah, we, we just closed a door on them. Uh, maybe we, sent we them need to the no no dimension. Uh, maybe maybe we give this one a pass. Shout out to the people in chat who are saying, Great, spare, strike, <laughs> and like doing yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay. You sure you don't want to go down the, the funny hole, Nix? For your completionist? <laughs> the 70 foot hole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surely it links up over here. <laughs> we never know. Well, there, no, right? There's a chance there's stuff around it. <laughs> we fall into a void and never hit any void. What if there's loot down there? What if the Zonderbrook room is down there? <laughs> yeah, Zonderbrook. Well, maybe somebody with the athletics to climb up the wall. Well, I guess I have spider climb, but that has failed me before You do on have floor. spider to climb. Just get in there. <laughs> it has failed me on this floor. We, we, we'll, we'll grab a rope. And not 70 oh, feet worth of rope. We can. We, how many ropes do we have? We can tie two ropes together. It's 100 foot. Yeah. Maybe oh lose 10 God, feet from the next one. Hold tying together. Uh, <laughs> Lionel, you have the key. All right. Oh, did it close behind us? Uh, no. Uh, also, <laughs> worth pointing out, the back of the door, like the inner part, is actually just like a valve you turn to open the door. It doesn't. Oh right. yeah, it was like the the boat submarine door. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. So if we're looking on the map, I, I don't know if there is a loot room unless you want to check that one path that says loot. But there is the door to the north. We can also explore it where the Halastrick statue was. Um, or we can go oh. really far south to where it was smelly. I was curious. What? I wanted to know what the wheel was called. Apparently they're called dogs, the wheels on those doors. You like dogs? dogs? I, I, I don't know why. So you're saying you don't like dogs? So you're saying you hate waffles? Where are we meant to be going? Dogging the door. Trin, pick a direction. You hardly ever get to pick where we go. Yeah, it's your yeah. turn. It's your turn now. Oh, well, just be aware. You should get be yelled at when I. Just be aware that one of those right. directions has a statue in it, and it might be a bad idea. But if you if you choose. pick the wrong direction, we can just blame uh, Lionel because they suggested you pick a direction. Yeah. Just a pa a devster <laughs> a cat. <laughs> Go back to the lizard path or the fish path. <laughs> I feel like if we found loot, we would be in much better spirits, so I'm going to explore the area that says loot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, look so at him go. Discovered. He's so excited. Uh, so so he much really regret. wants the loot. I have become beans. <laughs> I took the beans last session. I fell on yeah, a hole. I gave them to Bertrand now. Everybody gets to experience I've got a lethal time. case of beans. <laughs> Is it terminal talk? Will I survive? <laughs> bless you to whoever sneezed. Uh, Shay says bless you. Happens. Thank you, Shay. <laughs> 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 what? Who was that? <laughs> that was my spouse. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just loot. 
How did it say loot, by the way? Was it like written there? Just with like uh, a charcoal or... Let me let me see here. It should say. Hold on. I don't, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Wait. That loot also has an infinite sight. <laughs> infinite <is> loot. <laughs> uh, it, it's in chalk. And it says it's in dwarvish as well. It says loot in mm. dwarvish and chalk. Okay. Yeah. And as you look down, Bertrand, you see a door. Think that's the loot door? Uh, I don't know. We will find out together. I feel like we could do it together. Okay, you open the door? Uh, yes. Do we blow up? Does a 22 hit you, Bertrand? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a personal um, question. If it's a healing potion, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, it's not a healing potion. Because you open the door and immediately a ballista comes to life and aims a shot at you and <laughs> shoots you square in the fucking chest. Loot! The loot, loot. is the, the arrow. It's now embedded in your chest. <laughs> <laughs> you take There's just a sign that says what were you thinking? 20 points of piercing damage as you are hit in your core by a fucking ballista and it just <laughs> goes down and stops moving. He just you does the ragdoll damage. Uh, he just he does the fucking like Gmod ragdoll the moment it hits him. Yeah. The loot The loot was the ballista bolts that hit us in the chest along the way. Uh, does it look like that was the only thing the trap does, or does it look like it's actively reloading? No, it's like the head turned down as that happened. Oh, uh, bless Ow. is only a minute, so no no more bless. It's over, though! Hey, just for your sake, I'm gonna perception check this room and look for some loot. Alright, the other ballista here uh, appears to be pointing at this door. Yeah, I, di I didn't cross in front of it for a reason. Uh, 29 perception... Uh, this room contains just the ballista and nothing else. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, you, you know, Bertrand, um, it's, um, it's, um, it's, it's not all bad, I mean. This, this will all be worth it, I promise. Zunderbrook! <laughs> As you say, Zunderbrook, nothing happens. Bertrand's no. gonna uh, cry <laughs> inside. <laughs> <laughs> I mean,. Is there a way to, like, disable this one, and then we can go through this door? Yeah, you could just take the bolt out. Yeah, yeah you could just, you know, destroy could it. strap the ballista to the you top know, of the You know, I'm looking at my map, and I hate to tell you, but the other direction might just loop around. Do you know or do you think? We can, we can literally test it without, you know, trying to get ourselves injured. I mean, I disabled the trap. I'm going to open the door. <laughs> you open the door. Yes. Yay! <laughs> when you appear, I just want to wave. <laughs> when I appear around the corner. I appear around the corner. And the funny <laughs> part would be if I teleported and then I never appear around the corner. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Waiting for Nyx and she just never appears. It's not hopeless. Bertrand's path could lead to loot down here. It's not the fucking arrows pointing. It makes no sense. Like the boss room is where the loot is, right? <laughs> makes <laughs> sense. I mean, we did find a mind flare skull. That's kind of loot, and you and you found your your coin. Not the snow. What is like? There's supposed to be a mountain of gold. You feel a warm glow and light. No. <laughs> Wisp, it's your turn. Pick a path. Any path. 
Freaks go up all like the north areas. Oh, hold that, on. No, we didn't, so the north. What's over oh, here? Yeah, we, we could go around here, actually. Oh? Does it lead anywhere, or is that... Oh, yeah, there's a, I see a little path there. I think. I'm just waiting for the map to finish. <laughs> Are we done? There. I'm just kind of moving a few increments just in case there's a trap. You walk on a trap, you're done for. It doesn't matter if you move, move slowly. You want a second here? Give us a chance to catch up. Loading D100 traps? No, I'm just hiding the places you've been to just because. That, that makes sense. You're moving around quite a bit there. Just looking around, looking around. Moving around. Ooh. So I'm trying to feel it. We didn't inspect the pillars, right? <laughs> I'm still I... thinking of that one room. What about the ceiling? Did we inspect the ceiling? <laughs> Uh, I mean, old on the ceiling loot. The nether skull was able to flow, do you know? It, it, you're not wrong. Can you see a door? Uh, what are the chances there's another ballista? <laughs> you say as you open the door. You open the door? Yes. You hit with another ballista? No, I just, I'm fucking with you. I opened the door. I was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> ballistas. Uh, you see more, this... more little magma, but not as much. It just seems to be a crater in the, in the earth. It, it never ends. This is the door that never ends. Lava just goes on and on. Have we been... To this part of the lava before? Yeah, is there anything in the room besides lava? Uh, as you look. A statue. <gasps> Two statues. Tristan! Okay, what do we find in here? Anything good? You know what I think this lines up uh, with? It might line up with the. This, this room has a domed ceiling, actually, mm. uh, that rises to 20 feet high. Uh, the wings to the east and west have 15-foot-high ce arch ceilings. Uh, orange light and intense heat spill from a crevice that splits the room nearly in two. And there are two life-size iron statues of Mind Flayer sitting in opposite corners of the chamber, facing one another with tentacles outstretched. I don't like that. Tentacles outstretched. Is this like possible to like sneak around this corner? Or jump sure. over? Uh, hey! -yup! I'd say if you're taking. <clears throat> yeah, you hop over. Uh, Bertrand. Yeah, I'm... Can you make oh. me an intelligent saving throw, please? Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Oh. Why was it intelligence? 18! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> That is a failure. Hold on. He's so no! Yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh, you're D4. You don't get it. Anymore. There's no yeah. blast. He doesn't oh. have it anymore, yeah. As you suddenly oh, no. stop and turn Actually... towards the Mind Flayer statue, and all of you watch as Bertrand is slowly making his way over. Nope. 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 Oh, I, I'm going to jump and grab him. As you jump and grab him. Not gonna make an intelligent saving throw. Do you notice as you look at the Mind Flayer statue? I'm gonna need an intelligent saving throw from you too, actually, yes. <laughs> I Can think I we need that scar now. Bertrand. A statue? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's even worse. You stop and you, you begin to make your way northwards to the I other one. I shoot a <laughs> dart at Bertrand if I can. Okay, go for it. Somebody stop, Wisp! Uh, no, I have a better idea! He's gonna third, third level twin lightning bolt. No wait, no wait. Twin acrobatic orb with the lightning bolts. 
Sorry, I'm used to saying lightning bolt. Uh, twin chromatic orb at both of them. On both of your allies? Uh, <laughs> no, both the statues. Okay. I, I'm shooting a dart at Bertrand. All right. Go for it. Does the 20 hit you, Bertrand? Uh, no. Darn it! All right. <laughs> How this can gonna you be do acid. this to me? Do, this don't, do I have to roll, like, the actual, like... Yeah, to hit. You or do I just roll damage? All right, that's the first one. That one misses. <laughs> that's a miss? Yeah. No! Uh, second to the Bertrand. God! God! You know, after we destroyed the demon statues and the demons came to life, I didn't think destroying the statues would be the the, the go-to plan here. Uh, wild magic watch... and heck? Yeah, wild magic as well. You guys yeah. watch as Wisp and Bertrand push their heads into the perfect fitting size yeah. underneath the tentacles. And yeah, that's not good. you are now stunned. Both of you are stunned. The statue oh, would God. never forget my birth. Oh, oh God damn it, Lionel, help me destroy these statues. I knew we couldn't trust them. Lionel, shoot the statues or shoot our companion. And I would like to shoot a dart at Wisp now. Okay. Uh, you have advantage. <laughs> okay, I'll move down here. here. Uh... I'm just waiting on my turn. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Why are these? Yes. As you throw darts at your companion and do damage to them, it doesn't stop whatever this is. Their uh, heads are in the tentacles and they are not moving. Uh, sorry, we have to kill eight the statue. Piercing, wisp. Could I try something? Go for it. Uh, I will cast... I don't know. How big are these statues? Uh, these statues are medium size, technically. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work. But I'm gonna cast animate object on the statues. <laughs> okay. Are you sure you wanna do that? Yeah, because I'm, they're gonna be under sure. my control. Okay. As you okay. animate the statue, it has Bertrand still in its mouth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the statues push away. <laughs> Just push the Bertrand. It grabs Bertrand's shoulder and kind of tries to shove him out. And you hear just a as Bertrand's head is pulled out. <laughs> uh, choose up to ten non-magical objects within range and are number one to carry. Medium oh, non-magical object. objects. These are not. Yeah, no, that that doesn't work at all. Okay. Yeah. God damn it! You try and animate these, doesn't work. Unfortunately, Bertrand's okay. head is still stuck inside the tentacles of the Try to dispel magic sure. instead. Try to dispel it. All right. Uh... I can try to dispel the. Wait, can I? Do I even have it? I have this. I have this spell. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna cast a seven level dispel magic on the one on Wisp. Okay. Oh. Uh, seventh level dispel oh. magic is good for spells up to what level? Seventh. Seventh. Okay. Gonna need a ability check then. In that case. Oh, wasted thing. This is a this is a big Halister spell. Oh wait, no. Thing. I can like like. Hold on, it's Ties of Chaos. No, wait, that's uh, been luck. I can, like, I'm gonna use What do I need to roll for this? To... I never. You're it's just an Arcana check. An arc arc. Right? Uh, it'd be your stat block, I believe. Uh, it's is just it your spell spell get... casting modifier? What is it? Here you go. I mean, click spell magic. Yeah. Uh, ability check uh, using your spell casting ability. The DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. Uh, so. Basically, you make a intelligence plus proficiency. Intelligence plus plus proficiency, yeah. So and, our, and our you get an extra it. like D four roll, and I roll an extra D four because I'm using Ben Lock. Okay, good to know. So I roll an arcana. Do you roll a D twenty plus uh, your spells, yeah plus your proficiency. plus your proficiency? So it's what you use to hit with a spell, essentially. Um, you could okay. just like roll a like ray of frost or something. Technically, well, I I would just do an intel like an arcana check because that's okay. intelligence yeah, and that has your proficiency. So uh, nineteen plus d four. All right. Twenty two. Twenty two. That does it. Bertrand, Ugh. you were no longer stunned. It was wisp. I, I did, did wisp. Oh, you did on wisp. Wisp. Ugh. Yeah. 
you are no longer stunned. Uh, what is happening? Uh, Bertrand's caught in a magical statue. Lionel cast dispel magic to free you. I'll do another dispel magic if necessary in the one on Bertrand. Uh, I mean, you just here. Let me do it. I just you just use I'll spell, right. Uh, okay. Well, what level did you use? I mean, I, I used a seven that didn't work, so I'm gonna use an, another normal one and just roll. Oh, I mean, like, like I said, I can just do one if you want. Nope. You guys I'm arguing. Going. Meanwhile, Bertrand's got his. I'm, I'm doing it. I, the thing is, I, again, this still magic. Happening. His head is he's just stuck. In, stuck his head inside of metal tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> you cast a spell magic, and Bertrand, yeah. you blink a couple times. You are no longer stunned, and you are no longer. Are you guys feeling okay? Like you you don't feel weird or anything? Why would I feel um, weird? All right, step away from the statues. Well, they're going. They're getting obliterated. And he's oh. gonna like twin fireball at both of them. Okay. Go ahead and roll to All hit right, the north the... one. North one. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. As your firebolt hits the statue, it takes no damage. Damn it! We need probably need higher. like something adamant. <laughs> or... Bludgeoning. <laughs> some kind of non-fire just really... damage. It's just for posterity. Let's see what happens on the second one. Twelve misses. God, I got to work on my aim. Uh, okay, fine. We can figure out another way to destroy them. Are you two? Oh, are you sure you're okay? I feel fine. Okay. So, do we go over now, or should we just find another way around? Uh, I'm there... looking at the map. Um, I'm trying to figure out. This room might lead to the area we explored earlier, like. Um, with the, the ice devil uh, ice. down there. Roll me an uh. intelligent saving throw, please. Oh, Christ, get out of there! Oh, come on! <laughs> just, just, yeah, let's leave. <laughs> it was me attempting to come them. back, actually. <laughs> so... Uh, where is it? I can only dispel so many times. Get out of there. It's gonna move it like there. Uh, it's a 19. That is still a failure. Once again. Oh, oh, nice. Come on! Uh, Bertrand, can you physically pull him out? Bertrand, as you get there, I need an intelligent saving throw, please. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> egg, get out of there! <laughs> we literally can't! Uh, hold on. I know I failed, so I'm gonna use oh, the Indomitable. Can you roll over a 19? I can try to roll a natural 20, Bracky. Oh. There it is now. <laughs> uh, here I go again. Dispel magic on Wiz. A Wiz statue, rather. Fucking get out of there. 26. Wisp, you are no longer stunned. Yeah. Oh my god. I immediately head this way. You got it. Anyways, I was just trying to say that the door up here leads to that weird sound trap that we heard earlier, and I think the door down here leads to that ice devil that we ran into. Here I go again for for virgins. Oh Christ! Thirty-three, <laughs> Jesus. Bertrand, you are no longer stunned. It's like weird deja vu. You're back here again. I don't want to lead anymore. <laughs> just come out <laughs> of here. Come <laughs> out. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get away from the statues. No, no, no. no. I, I want to waste more Lionel spell slots. Let's go back. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I think it's with what turn to pick a direction. A spell slot? I wanted to fully explore the the northern area. If we could. Uh, so starting where? Because uh, we have uh, a few. Whatever we're closest to for now. Uh, the closest northern area. Technically, we're half and half between that one next to the pit you fell in, or that uh, past the one from the old forge. Like, get moving, Lionel. I'm moving. I'm moving. I don't know why it's not loading. So, which one do you want to go to, Wisp? Uh, 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 lucky left? Which other one's more to the left? The one to the left is the one past the teleporter that teleported Bertrand. 
and a statue that beat up on Thaddeus. Uh, Left down stab Shin Alley. Uh, turn right at the ooze that consumes <laughs> all mortal flesh. If you see a manticore, you've gone too far. Our directions for Tomb of Annihilation right now. Hmm. I imagine if we found a Tim's down here. A Timmy's? A Timmy's? A Tim <laughs> yeah, a Timmy's. Timmy's. Refer to it by its proper. Yeah, if you're going to short handed, do it right. Come on. Do it right. <laughs> what are you doing? You sound you sound like a police officer naming a drug in like such an accurate <laughs> way. Hello, fellow Canadians. <laughs> You're trying Do to you blend have some in. Tins? Do you have some Tims? I sure would like some Tims to write about now. Canadians look at you like, what? You? Tim? What Tim? You can like, trust me, fellow sorry. Canadian. A Canadian would be so polite, they just go along with it. They probably would. Go to Tim Hortons, get your bagels. God, I just got some thinking of Canadians and the Canadian Ned Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> we like some weed? It's legal here. Oh, they told me the devil would be tempting. <laughs> this is the direction you picked. Let's yeah. figure out what happens. It's oh my god. Dead end. Does it loop around? <laughs> oh god. Well, let's, next we'll do it together with you, but we gotta head down together. Oh, urban mech plushie. Keep me safe. As you turn the corner. What? Is there another golem here that's gonna attack us? It's a dead <laughs> end. All perception check. Make sure there's nothing at the dead end. Oh, oh no, guys. We have to go back to the mind player room. Why? We gotta Why? Grab, yeah, we have we to grab the skull. We didn't say Zunderbrook. Oh, this. Oh. We'll go back there. Shall we the get the one. mind player skull? <laughs> Is it just a dead end? Uh, what was the number? Yeah, I got 20. a natural 20. Nyx, as you look around yeah. the wall, it is the deadest of dead ends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can try your other northern room. There's <laughs> the one oh past that you fell in. Hey. Zero encounter is better than trap. I wasted four spell slots. <laughs> you wasted them? Wasted. You saved I wasted, I wasted one. I'm kind Look of just worried that you guys are cursed you by something. You saved us four times. Thank you, Lionel. Yeah, I'm, I'm just hoping you guys didn't get cursed. Would you like to touch Gob Swanson's mustache? No. What? <laughs> That's workplace harassment. Fuck off. What is Sorry, wrong with you? I did not understand the rules. I'm not Where's going that guy? way, though. Oh, God, oh, yeah, where, the the really God, where are the goddamn stairs? I want to be done with this floor, please. I don't, I don't trust oh, the death rune thing that uh, was down there, so... You don't remember how fun that sounded? <laughs> <laughs> no? Death no. runes don't sound fun <laughs> to me. To the north, you see that dwarven statue. Okay, now be remember to stay clear of the painting. Uh, what happened to Bertrand? There we go. <laughs> Teleports with his whole party and entourage over there. So just, ah. just don't go beyond here. Next yeah. to mark it with, like, the chalk, you know? Yeah, so. yeah, like, do not enter this space. Angry. Okay. No. This is the other area that, uh... The pit trap's still open. Yeah, uh, Nick Funny will hole. scurry along. Whoops. <laughs> Nick will scurry along the wall. Yeah, same. You get, you get the others can jump it. And if you can't jump it, I'll catch you. Bertrand can throw, uh, Lionel. We just take turns on the, the, the hover princess. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <The> <laughs> Goody Puff Jr. Goody Puff Jr. I don't know if Princess is going to like that name. <clears throat> I 
like how you guys are just hanging out on the other side of the pit there. <laughs> Waiting for you. It's it's safe it's, here. <laughs> it's a process. It's pretty nice. Yeah. There's not enough room for the baggage train yet, so. Yeah, there's lots of room for you. <laughs> oh, I see. You're trying to puzzle piece it and drag them all over at once. I got it. Um. We haven't even seen the Gith Sarai did either. Yeah, we were looking for that one guy. <laughs> Might be on the other floor that they were on. Or maybe they fell into lava. That's a very good possibility on this floor. Maybe got eaten by that statue. What the hell was going on there? I don't know. I am not because... very smart. With, well, how do you know that smarts were related to why you got grabbed by the statue? No, I, I said I, I don't know it, what caused it. No. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the map, and I think this is the only other way north. Besides the room that was kind of next to where the Gith or I were. Um, if not here, we'd have to go to the Halster statue, or maybe even down south. What does this door look like, the one south of us? The door? Yeah. It's the H1 that leads to the Death Tyrant room. Gotcha. This, the one to the south leads to the Death Tyrant room. This one is the normal door. Yeah. Check it well, out. Well, Lisp, this is your room. You got to choose this one. So I open the door. Alright, as you open the door... <gasps> oh! It is... I'll describe what's in here. I'll just say I'm here. What is it? Uh, creature? Oh. I know what the token represents, but I don't know what it is. Ugh, it's like a tiefling? It, Very it usually means a mage or something. Uh, Could be wrong. On the northmost wall, you notice a stone arch decorated with gold inlaid images of soaring dragons Ooh. sitting atop a three foot high red marble dais. You see no a, a gong. Uh, that hangs from a sturdy, sturdy wooden frame anchored to the floor. Uh, and you see currently on a desk, uh, anchored to the floor, uh, oh, sorry, sitting on the steps of the dais, the, where the, with the, the arches, scribbling madly in a journal with a quill pen, is a wretchedly pale man in a dusty black robe. Dad? And he's like a human he's man? A, he is a... Uh... He, yeah, he's a human. So he looks really pale. Does he look, like, starved? or? No, he looks like he's fed. He just looks like he hasn't probably seen the sun. Maybe ever. Uh, okay. He stops what oh, he's I doing feel that. and, like, looks up and Hello? sees you as... Hi. What are you doing down here? Uh... Chronicling? From me. What do you mean by that? May we come in and just... <laughs> just... Yeah. Yeah. Right. Fuck yeah, sure, come on in. Can I incite this yeah. tail man? Go for it. Is he normal? Uh, 28? He seems like a bit of a weirdo. He has a very rather grim expression. Mm. He's yeah. as you walk into the room, you notice that there's a bunch of scribblings on papers. Um, a lot of it's gibberish. There's one where it's just like getting real kind of tired of corn all the time is like one of the inscriptions. You also see a lot of mentionings of Nether Skull specifically. Like in a positive um. way. <laughs> did did Hellstar send you? No. Uh, you work for well, Hellstar? Kind of, maybe. Gump Swanson, I... do you recognize this man? Uh, no, he's probably from a different division. So uh, what's Cody. your name? Cavill. Cav. Henry? <laughs> I knew that. I knew that joke was gonna get fucking. <laughs> I knew it. I, knew it. Mm -hmm. I absolutely fucking knew that was gonna happen. 
He loves Warhammer. Oh, right. Look, he's spending his Warhammer miniatures right here. Don't touch those. Those are my three custodies models for my army. <laughs> he's just as pale as a Warhammer fan, okay? Yeah. Well, uh, do, do you happen to know the way down this floor? Do you, have you seen some stairs? What? Leaning down? No. Well, I don't know. You might have. No! I've been in here chronicling. Chronicling what? For how long? Nether Skull. So Nether Skull? Oh, Nether it? Skull is dead. Well, that's gonna make the rest of my work real easy. Fucking great. How am I supposed and to get then the interview he died. now? Oh, I hate my life. Who wants to interview that thing? Listen, we... I have a deal with Halister. I chronicle Nether Skull, and then he gives me back my spell book. Okay? Oh. Would you just not make things up? What? Well, well, I mean, if he's dead, you might as well, well like, you know, have fun of it. The fuck do you think well, I'm doing right. in here? I, I have to make a bunch of shit up because like, he won't inter. I, I can't interview him, and now I really well, can't because he's dead, you, dead. Instead of being uh, undead, you, you which just... is like being dead, but like you're not fully dead yet. You're just, you're just, you're not, you're not anything. You're just, you're just there. We, we can describe the last battle for you. We you're were there. You're just bones. You're just bones. Wait, what? Wait, well, well, hold on, hold on. Roll, roll it back. You can. The fight? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, that. yes. Please, okay. please, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my Shit. God. Shit. <laughs> okay, uh, yes. Okay, Go. Just... Hit me. Hit me. Don't actually physically I, hit I me. Will... Just give me give me what happened. I will describe puts down his fist. the best of my ability as well. He fell down some steps. To describe <laughs> the battle. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna make an intelligence check to see how accurate this is to what it actually was, because I want to know how okay, cool. well this did. You embellish everything. Bertrand was just the biggest bullshit. Okay, here it comes. Why would you risk it? Oh. <laughs> okay, so there's this ghost, right? That inf it went into this guy over here, and he ran up and was like, "Oh, I'm oh, gonna oh, hit I you." I know that ghost. I know that ghost. He starts like digging through the papers on the floor. Uh, let oh, me read see. here. Uh, Fidelio, uh, yes, he was a pompous yeah. paladin named Fidelio, who wept bitter tears before his, his disintegration by the hands of Nether Skull. Yeah, but unfortunately, before he was able to do that, uh, he turned him to stone. So I ran over him and was like, Hasha, you're not stone anymore, and then he went over and smacked him. And some other stuff happened with the other people, like, whittling him down, but that's less important. I'd say it's just as equally as important <laughs> he's gonna step up. You see, here's how it oh, really went God. down. He's gonna do a deception check. Okay. <laughs> we we were there. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. He's gonna. Okay. So you're over embellishing your own role. <laughs> you see, he was he turned our friend to stone, and as I looked him into his single eye. Oh, okay, it wasn't a single eye; it was multiple eyes. But he only had one big eye in the center. I stared it into his soul and shot a lightning bolt through it. And released my friend from his curse. With help from Wisp, of course. <laughs> Lying on Nyx. We're just there. They were an audience. Uh, yeah, they were just there. They were they, they were mostly support. Okay. They were they were good. Uh you, Weeps Mackenzie, he points towards you, Bertrand. What what <laughs> what is your accounting of events? My name is Bertrand Lockwood, but you can call me Weeps Mackenzie if you'd like. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he nods as he's writing it down. We were assailed by this horrible nether skull once before, and we ran. Oh, we retreated. Wait, 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 yes. wait, wait, wait. This was a grudge match? Uh, yes. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. okay, okay. He starts writing enthusiastically. Uh, the second time we found the dreaded nether skull, uh, we did not hold back. In fact, I may have let myself be possessed by this spirit of Fidelio, and together we united our powers and defeated the dreaded nether skull, and Fidelio was pleased. And, uh, what about you? He points towards you, Nyx. Yeah. Nyx puts down the notepad and paper that she was currently writing with. Uh, uh well, yeah, Fidelio possessed Bertrand, um, quite willingly, we made it into the room. Uh, some tentacles fr came from the walls and tried to attack us. Um, 
started to attack uh, Nether Skull. Nether Skull started to petrify Bertrand. Uh, I think Thaddeus did hit him with a lightning bolt. Some zombies showed up. Um, oh, and we also took care of the zombies. So, I, listen, I also took care of the zombies. Hey, That's hey. not important. They were uh, pretty shush, quick. shush, shush. I'm talking to the lady. Keep going. So, so uh, we had to divide and conquer a little bit. Uh, some Ooh, of us were attacking Divide the and zombies. conquer? That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to yeah, trademark yeah. that. Uh, I, I was helping, I was clinging to the wall, uh, shooting at Nether Skull. Um, Bertrand got fully petrified, but Wisp was there to help unpetrify him. Um, Lionel was helping to fend off the zombies. Um, and, and in the end, uh, Fidelio slash Bertrand managed to deal the final blow to Nether Skull, and Fidelio seemed quite happy about that and, uh, left Bertrand, um, slightly more blessed than he was before. And then... We were protected by our bonds, not only of fellowship... Hey, hey, shush, shush, shush. You, he points towards you, Lionel. <laughs> what, what was your, what's your take on this? No, she got it covered. <laughs> okay. I have no need to embellish it. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. You watch as he starts to compile notes and, like, kind of begins to pin them together in, like, a really erratic fashion. And you watch as he kind of stacks them up and, like, kind of holds them and places them down and goes, Halastar! I'm done! I finished! What? You can give me back my small book now! Oh! Hey. Ah. Have you, uh, have you... You're not bringing him here, are you? Well, he visits occasionally. Uh, did you have another way of communicating with him to let him know that you were done? No, he said he would just be uh, watching, which is ominous and vague. But, uh, you know. It could have something to do with this gong over here. No, that's the what corn question? gong. Don't touch my corn gong. The what? Does it make gong? corn? What? It makes, a, it makes a, a, a corn. You're <laughs> gonna add the corn Is this cheesy was shitting us? Cornbread. Uh, sometimes cheese. Insight? Dried corn. Go for it. <laughs> He sounds too sad not to be real. <laughs> Natural 20. Natural 20. Yeah, he's not talking shit. He's speaking truthfully. You, Sometimes I get some corn-fed corn some? chicken, some corn-fed beef. I, I mean, sure, but, like, hold on. Uh... The corn gong? No, actually, can you not hit the corn gong? Because I it only makes food once a day. Oh. Can, how about I give you some food, and then I hit the gong and take... Sure. Yeah, surely you want something yeah, else sure. other than corn. Right. Yeah, I, I have like some dried meat. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm like gonna need water too. Additional rations. Yeah, I can give you some water. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, nice. He takes the dried meat and starts chewing. He goes, "Oh, this is horrible." <laughs> that was the deal. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> that was the deal I gave him. My horrible <laughs> food. No, <laughs> take back <laughs> these. Uh, as you hit the gong, uh, sure enough, in front of the gong, forming out of, like, light, comes, uh, a clay bowl filled with hunks of cornbread, uh, cheese, uh, strips of, uh, cooked steak, and some dried corn. And there's also- Oh, that's more than just corn. There's, there's a proper meal in there. It also summons a, uh, a tin cup and a glass carafe of, of a gallon of water. Ooh, now this is a meal I can get behind. He's gonna swipe a little bit of the cornbread. Yeah, we should all fill up our water skins. The cornbread is- I think is... you could fill up two, like, or how, many, how much water was there? A gallon. Oh. If it, ooh. Hmm. If-, if... It I'll matters to you. I, I do not believe I, I got your name, so. Uh, he gave us her name. <laughs> or his name. My name's it's Cavill. Cavill. Yeah. Oh, right. Like. And I, I I certainly have your names. And he holds up the, the notes he was taking when he was writing them down. It, it, we, we are referred to as a work in progress. I wrote that down. Work in progress. Got it. Right. And we should introduce uh, Princess and uh, Gob Swanson. <laughs> Oh. You certainly it. can't forget me, Thaddeus Bragg. He takes another point in the corvette. Mm, taste. It doesn't taste that great, actually. It's kind of whatever. If I could it's let better you... than what I've been eating down here. Oh. If I could let you in on a secret, Mr. Cam. Yeah. 
few of us have share a sacred bond known as the fraternity of the bathroom boys. Oh, what the... <laughs> <laughs> I was about to pull myself out of the room, but I realized I had my notes on my page and I'm already out of the room. It's okay. You guys can have your bathroom boys moment. <laughs> <laughs> How gracious Why are you do for secret doors? <laughs> also, Sunderbrook. As you say, Sunderbrook, nothing happens. Ah. This, this, this painting on the wall here. Or, 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 what is? What was that on the wall again? Oh, this is a. Uh, um, I actually don't know what the fuck this is. It's like a stone arch or something. Uh, as you get closer, uh, what languages do you know, it? Wisp? Uh, not many. Uh, giant. Uh, draconic and common. It is draconic. And Ayo. it reads, only a dragon can unlock this gate. Oh. What? Hey, Lionel, can you make a like a little statue of a dragon real quick? I, mean, I, can. I don't think it'll work, but maybe. I'll make a little statue right of a dragon. <clears throat> can, can we bring it up to the gate and see if it opens? You hold it up to the I gate. I think it's an arch gate, right? Nothing happens. It does appear to be an arch gate, yeah. Does yeah. an illusion work? Oh, minor illusion of dragon? Where do you put the illusion of the dragon? I mean, I'll put it on the gate. Alright, as you put the dragon on the gate, the gate opens up. Oh, Ooh. my god, I never thought that was going to work. Cavill kind of turns and goes, Oh, I didn't realize that thing worked. It was acting a little weird a, a, a few days ago. <laughs> yeah, we are home. Is that where Halasu usually comes from? Uh, no, he just teleports in. What do you mean uh, weird? Is uh, there was something weird going on with the gates a little earlier for us too. It was like zh, 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 or something like that. I don't know. Well, now it's, now it's open. We have to figure out where it goes. Also, next thing you came back in. Can you can you double check our secret rooms just in case? <laughs> We need to check every room we go in. Whoa. 22. 22. It's advantage. Why would you take the natural one? As you search around <laughs> the room, Nyx, sure enough. Hey, yeah? Oh? There's a piece of Yeah! Oh. Did you know that there is a secret room over here? Uh, yeah, Halister goes in there sometimes, but. Fuck. What? Maybe there's a way for you to communicate with him in here. No, no. That's, uh,. Something of his. I don't know what it is. I don't touch it. It sounds kind of ominous. So, anyways, we touch it. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, inside of this room, this dusty room has a 10 foot high ceiling and a 3 foot cube composed of equal parts adamantine and flesh. Sits atop a 3 foot tall hexagonal plinth of carved stone. Oh. The surface no, of the cube facing you uh, bears Hallister's fleshy, grimacing visage. I Good. don't like anything about that. I think. Oh, no, thank you. Was she? I yeah. think there's a reason. We... It's a flesh metal cube it's with silly. a face on it. Flesh metal cube. Oh, does that sound like the one little dude that we found on like floor three? Yeah, the cube dudes. Yeah, but it's not. It doesn't like quite. It's not one to one, but close. Yeah. Hmm. It's missing, like, the arms and wings and the feet. I don't... I don't think that looks right. Uh, can uh, I make an arcana it... check to see if I have ever seen something like this? Go for it. Uh, con. 17? This is some wizard doohickey thing. You have no idea. Oh no, it's a wizard doohickey. A wizard Can anyone arcana or only people with proficiency in it? Uh, I can check. Why not? Surely, what, what could go wrong? Fourteen. No idea. It's a wizard doohickey. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. I'm going in the room. Yeah. I really don't. No, no. watch it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Am I good? Yeah, nothing happens. Sunderberg. Uh, what's what? what As you say, do, do you, do... Nothing happens. 
That pause was killer. Uh... That pause hurt me. <laughs> That paws do... physically reached out and punched me in the face. Do you hear sounds when Halister goes into that room? Uh, yeah, I hear, like, him and more of him. And oh. more of him? Him and more of him? Yeah, like, I hear him being like, dum de dum 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 and then I hear, stick a fork in it, this party's done, and a swing and a miss, and a bunch of other random shit. Oh, he's, like, setting up recordings. Hello? That what was talking through the floor whenever have you heard teleported before oh yeah lots of times okay, hello yeah. guys I, th Wait. I think this is what sends the messages out through the floor maybe Wait, they was stopped if... was there what something was the that happened when we killed another skull because we stopped hearing the voice no that's the thing uh, what did he go in there recently to say something about work in progress like... uh no he hasn't visited me like, for a couple weeks? Maybe a month? Wait. He visited God that... Swanson last night. What? Yeah, he was here last night. He's just doing a regular yeah. checkup. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. If that's the case, if this is where he records his lines for the thing, then he was watching us in real time when we fought the Nether Skull. He said our names several times throughout that fight. I'm gonna poke this the cube. Roll initiative. Oh, fuck. <gasps> what? <laughs> Whoa. I wanted to. I wanted to do voiceover on the dungeon. No, no, no. You're fine. <laughs> I was just. I was not expecting oh, that. Boy. <laughs> Honestly, we shouldn't be surprised <laughs> by anything <laughs> on this part anymore. While we roll initiative, why don't you guys go take a break and use the bathroom? That's uh, a good idea. I, will I was hoping it was a megaphone. <laughs> Dude, I, yeah, you have, yeah. I would have done the same thing in your shoes, bracket. I'd have been like, poke it, poo poo pee pee. Like, <laughs> today's, in ca today's in the cafeteria menu. If the first description she said wasn't fleshy, Nyx might have gone up and touched it. <laughs> but she started with fleshy, so I, I wanted nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah, but Shay, you're smart. <laughs> what is this? Play by... Oh my god, really? Alright. How are we doing, chat? Cross marks. I, if we get to the end of this whole thing and Zoner Brook. We did. We missed Zonderbrook somehow. I'm going to cry for a solid hour. <laughs> but the second, it's, but, but it's the, the, second the second Zonderbrook actually does something, the mic is peaking. You have to understand this. Those are the only two <laughs> scenarios. That I'm gonna. I'm gonna use the rest of them real quick. Oh, how are you doing, chat? Mario Galaxy, hell yeah, nice. How are your kitties doing, Monty? Good. I'm a little chilly today. Just for again, I had a little fun run around with me. It's very cute. Because it hit my fucking foot a little shit. They got the big EPs. She got the the sweater on. No, she's got her heated bed. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I want a heated bed. That sounds awesome. What the fuck is this gift? <laughs> it's the raccoon. <laughs> Bite boys to J chord and raccoon. I don't know what the text is. I just searched raccoon throw in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first one. My favorite attack, Dracoon Throw. <laughs> God. Pocket it's Raccoon. Just a... He just actually racked old. The Raccoon deserved it. 
I would absolutely do feral things to protect my dog. Doing feral things. Welcome to Cornet ASMR. Oh no, you're muting. Or are you going away? Oh, we got some Cornet ASMR. Let's go. Oh, I heard a corn. Oh! Corn no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Some water. You know what, Shay? It's because you don't have any like safety snacks, right? I'm eating right now. Uh, we don't need a safety snack. We we took down the, the like the biggest baddest wolf on the floor. You can't blame me for lying or touching things. You know what? We're exploring the dungeon. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking at my map, I feel like. Everything we've interacted with has hurt us. I don't know what we're trying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should try to go down that pet. Maybe the maybe the where would I uh a death tyrant put a treasure? Just in, just hide it in the hole. There was a statue, it did go a little further down. We could check. It was pointing in a direction. I wrote on my notes um pointing to death or salvation. Or oh, treasure. Or treasure. Mm. You know, it's made treasure. Okay, um, okay. Or we go go all the way down south where there's that smelly direction. We only have to travel through either a teleport trap again or through the mind flare room. So totally a uh, legit direction to go. Or we can take the lava and the ethereal ghost bridge and potentially go that way. Hmm. It's very difficult for us to go back down south. Words. Yeah, I don't know. Bertrand got shot and then jumped into a mind flare head. I think. <laughs> I think. I think someone else gets to choose. Man, I feel bad. <laughs> Nix is like, you can choose a direction. You can explore Bertrand. <laughs> he gets shot in the face. <laughs> Look. You know, one, one day Bertrand's gonna open a door. It's gonna be a pile of gold. Something to, uh... Something to ease things off before the potential... Oh. 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 Evie just... Evie. Evie poofed on us. Rest in peace. Nope. has returned. Discord said, hey, have an update. And I was like, oh. Oh, nice. Not now. Thank you, Discord. Oh. Trying to like look at the map and see where what other logical locations we could potentially go, right? We've done a pretty good job of. Uh... Yeah, but we haven't found the one thing we need from this floor. Yeah, what? the exit and the treasure. Sure we do. It's right there next to us. I'm thinking to the right or to the south, unless there's like a. I don't want to go down the seven the foot pit. We also I... don't know what we're about to be fighting. Yeah. yeah. True. What Lionel? It, we're, no. we're fighting the play-by-play -play generator. <laughs> Henry Ca Henry Cavill is uh, actually just turn evil just right now. Is he gonna narrate the entire fight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it literally states that the entire fight it does the play-by-play. -play. We need to get Edward Bosco here to do the play-by-play. -play. Bosco's play playing play. Tomb Raider right now. He's too busy to narrate our fight. Oh, I can bully him, don't worry. Alright, you guys good to go? Good to I've go. I've got two bites left, but I'm good. I am petting kitty. Alright. As this uh, cube sprouts a pair of legs, arms, and wings, you hear it, like, begin to talk to you, Lionel goes, A NEW BATTLE IS ABOUT TO BEGIN! 
Lionel, you were up first, and Amelia, you're like, ah! <laughs> Punch it! Uh, yeah, no, he's, I, out of instinct, he's just gonna punch it. It's <laughs> because he's got startled. <laughs> Go for it. The wizard breaks his hand. <laughs> oh shit, wait, do I even... Oh yeah, I do have shocking grasp. <laughs> I'll move it one space up just to facilitate this. I mean, he did poke it to awaken it, so it makes sense yeah, that it's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 20, yeah, that hits. Good roll damage. Uh, 20 lightning <laughs> damage. Not, when you surprise the wizard. That was a box of... <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Punch it and pull it away. It's dead. It's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Wait, that's it? It only had 20 HP. That's it? <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> Wait, it's dead already? Oh, thank goodness. And there goes the fireball he was getting ready to... Oh, it startled me. I don't... You might have to tell Alistair that we broke it. Ooh. Well, Lionel broke it specifically. Did we just get D&D &D jump scared? I think so. I think, I think we got D&D &D jump scared. He's pulling the thing up. Battle is about to... <laughs> 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 uh, okay, well that takes care of one thing. Um, do you think he's gonna be mad at us about that? Um, he better not be mad at me. <laughs> or else I'll let you now and kill you. That's <laughs> a joke. Uh, Is this it really a joke, though? It doesn't sound like you're joking. Listen, I really want my spell book back. I really mm. just need my spell book back, please. Why Why did he take your spell book from you? Because he didn't get into Dwember Core, and he was like, I'll look at your spell book and see if you have the right things to, to do it. And I was like, thank you, sir. And then he proceeded to never uh, respond, and so I basically waited at Dwember Core for a while. And then he showed up again, and I was like, hey, can I have my uh, spellbook back? And he's just like, oh, uh, yeah, but I think uh, you probably want to do me a favor first. And I was like, oh, shit, yeah, you're right. And so I've been here chronicling Nether Skull. Do you think maybe he lost it? No, it sounds like... no, 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 I don't know. He's hell serious. Lost and, it. And anyway, I'm a little curious how come they didn't let you in. I thought they let anybody with magic in. They offered a uh, Wisp and Bertrand uh, free admission like as soon as they stepped onto the floor. Oh, don't tell him that. What? Yeah, as soon as they stepped on the floor, he, they, like the Halaster there said that they were magical and, and gave them a brochure and told them to come back and that they would immediately be admitted into the school. You know, I've got one of those brochures. You could yeah, sign it. Do you I want don't even know how to cast a spell. Is that a matte gloss finish? Ooh, fancy. Do you guys want to maybe give him one of your, your brochures or something? Like, he can get onto the floor and... Would that can... work? Maybe. I don't know. I can give him mine. Like, I'm going to look at the, well, the thing. Does he have my name specifically on it, or...? No, it's just a general brochure application form. Does he seem upset when I told him that uh was Finda? There is Lionel a were... single lone tear running down his face as he just disassociates and looks at the floor. <laughs> well, I probably wasn't gonna sign mine. Do you want mine? Yeah. You know, you bring up that magic school. What if this arc gate goes there? Is it still up? Dwemercore application. Removing it from my inventory. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> I I don't know where this well... goes. We should at least figure out where. Um, Lionel, could you bring up another dragon? <clears throat> Me. You... Yeah, Nyx oh, made the dragon. You? Yeah, I... Oh, you made the dragon. Just because I'm I have sorry, one Nyx spell. Work. <laughs> listen, I'm... listen, I'm sorry. We're doing Easter. Okay, Nyx, do your thing. <sighs> Fine, Thaddeus. And I'll conjure a dragon, or I'll oh. minor illusion a dragon for him. Thaddeus can see the text in the corner that says, Nyx will remember this. Nyx will remember <laughs> this. Look, I'm going to take a risk and go through, even though last time it didn't really work out, but I have a good feeling this time. Oh, 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 oh. Give me one he second. got exploded last time it happened. Well, listen, that was a very unfortunate series of events that I don't want to think about. This time, it's going to be different. 
He's gonna step. I don't know if I believe he's... him. He's gonna step through. Just. To... Last time he went through, he almost got killed. Okay, give me one second here. I'm just saying, this might be it, guys. <laughs> Pray for Thaddeus. How does Thaddeus look? Are you missing any hit points? Uh, uh, he's doing pretty good. He only took like five. He only took like five damage. I'll give you a little pat on the back before you go in. Might as well be full health, right? <laughs> That's just in a great spell. Just, just, just in case. <laughs> Listen, if I see a statue, I'm turning away immediately. I know my. I love Massive my three spot. health right there. Teleports all the way to four one or something. Brought down to three health. <laughs> <laughs> Comes back, bleeding, missing an arm, dragging himself through the art gate. But alive. Uh. <laughs> All right, so. Give me one second here. It's a dragon art gate. Maybe there's a dragon on the other side. Walks into the lair of a ancient dragon. It just teleports you straight into the stomach of an ancient gold, red dra gold dragon. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, shit, if it goes to... Wait, dragon door might be then what a shadow dragon is. Actually. <laughs> yeah, if you find a shadow dragon, let us know. If you survive. Right. Yes, if I survive. I'm I'm going to survive. First, first I'm thing first. is first. <clears throat> as you go through yep. the arc gate. There's no intermediary. You're used to an intermediary. I'd like you to roll me a d9, please. Okay, uh, what was the command again? Slash, Slash roll. Oh, sorry. Slash no, roll. Um, One space. D9. Yeah, you got it. Oh, that's not it. Does that have to be a space? Yeah. Uh, yeah, here, I'll type yeah. it out and... Okay. Put this in there, you got it. Eight. Now a d2. For fuck's sake. Sorry, a d2. <laughs> Alright, roll a d2. Okay! I heard it. No, there it is. Oh my fucking god. Teleported! No. <laughs> Blown up! <laughs> I don't want the sound of that! Blue! Uh, not even numbers were Blue. good. Did we reverse it? Is this the first time we're going through an arc gate since we pissed off the lich? I got no, it's the second one. Second one? Okay. okay. Well, second one we don't know about. Okay. Uh, oh no, I don't like the sound of that. Okay. We have used other arc gates. Fucking, this is so stupid. I hate it. Stupid in a good way? Uh, or... Stupid in a stupid way. We get I another goblin uh... coin. Okay. Hold on, I gotta grab something real fast. I need a reminder. I'm ready. Coin. What happens? Sorry, what was your question? Did we use a, did we use a coin? I forgot. No, you. it still mm. hasn't been used okay, yet. You still it. have that. Alright, okay. so. Thaddeus. You walk through the yes. arch gate and feel yourself instantly shunted. Backwards? <laughs> what? What? what do you... Oh, I mean, it could go either way. How oh, did God, you go to direct you to? Uh, to the bottom, bottom. left-ish yeah. area. Not fully bottom, but... Mid... Uh -huh. Left. I see it. Give me one. What the God Swanson? You have you a see goblin. A goblin female goblin secretary show up. Damn it! Why it wasn't me? <laughs> <laughs> it should have been me. It, it should have been, been me. me. <laughs> uh, the Hello. room is filled with fog. <coughs> oh. God. And you see immediately as you enter the space, rats immediately scatter into holes in the stone walls, these black stone walls. Uh, okay, you I see rats, but no also statues. Also hear uh, the sound of trickling water. Oh, well, at least there's liquid. I don't think this room is familiar. Uh, okay, no statues, no statues. He's gonna immediately look over to go. <laughs> Hey, how you doing, sweetheart? Um, hello. Who are you? I'm part of the Goblin Division. The Goblin Division? 
Do you know someone named Gob Swanson? Oh yeah, he's a doll. I love him. I thought we gave him Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be right back. Yeah, uh, I know. I thought it was just gonna be a death trap. Like, give us a second. I'll be... And he's gonna go immediately back through. Yeah, you could just leave your secretary there. What the heck? Well, this is just a secretary. He's immediately gonna. Just There's no step chance back we got through. a second secretary, did we? Uh, Gob Swanson, I think I found your workplace. As you come back through, following out comes. Come on. Oh, oh. Uh? Oh, wait. I'm I'm dumb. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, God, I'm wait. So is she actually my secretary now? <laughs> You got the funny goblin one. There we go. If you roll there an eight is. and you roll a two, you get goblin. Oh my god, we have two oh, goblins! Oh, we have two of them! <laughs> uh, Gabriella! Everyone, I think we found Gob Swanson. Oh, it's you again. I thought I was coming straight back, but. I follow you. I work for you, sweetheart. You, you work for me now? It should have been me. Yeah, I'm your assistant. <laughs> it's not fair. Oh, I'm from the Goblin Sorry. Division. Oh, oh that is, is that's actually lovely news. Oh, what is your name, madam? She hands you the little thing that you're supposed to fill out. As. <laughs> you want me? You want me Just to hand. give a name? You, okay, I uh, call me Glinda. <laughs> Glinda. 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 You see that? I like that. It reminds me of my mother. Well, everyone meet Glinda. Now we have another goblin secretary with us. How's it going, Glinda? It's going pretty good, Gob Swanson. Oh god, they sound exactly the same. <laughs> they look the What's same, but one has eyelashes. I have the voice of an angel! She does. Look at that. <laughs> By the way, red oh, lipstick. Sorry. Like, red lipstick and, like... <laughs> Skirt, is... clipboard, earrings that are way too big. I, 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 I just imagine, I just imagine, like, like, uh, what was her name? Grenda from from the Gremlins. <laughs> Wasn't that? <laughs> I haven't seen it, so I wouldn't know. Oh God, I need to get that picture. I know which one you're talking about, but I don't remember the name. I think she was. The... Okay, then, well, it seems I was mistaking. That room Greta. wasn't the uh, goblin headquarters. Unless it was, was it? And you just kind of... I think you eh. just summoned a goblin is what happened. Oh. We could ask them what oh. room you were in. Yes, the, would you know what room we were just in? No. By any, by any chance? I'm your secretary. Okay. Not your pathfinder, right. not your navigator. I'll navigate right. you through Sorry. workplace meetings, but that's about it, honey. You know what? That's good for that's good enough for me. Well then, in that case, we should at least figure out what this room, what that room is. There's certainly no statue, so that's good. Your definition of danger being only statues is probably not a healthy way to look at it. Have you have you remembered what we went through on this floor? Every single statue we have met has been an enemy. Every single one. Portrait and Wisp. The dwarf one didn't attack us. Um. The mind flares were kind of weird, but they didn't actually do any damage. They might have cursed them, Cavill but we don't know yet. The hand and goes, "I haven't attacked you." Yes, you haven't attacked you. He, like he's not a statue. This is a living person. <clears throat> like it's different. You can't trust statues. There's there's nothing in their eyes. I mean, if you try and kill oh. me, and whatever happens happens, man. That's all I'm saying. But I don't. I... Says the man without a spellbook. Oh, I mean, we okay. have no. <laughs> that's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can I give Absolutely. you inspiration? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wizard <laughs> roasted! <laughs> give a point of psychic damage for that one. <laughs> well then, we can either explore that what was on the floor, or we could just keep going around here. I wouldn't mind actually it, going through the arcade. Okay, I feel like we've explored this area quite well. We need to find the exit. We need to know like if there's an exit of this floor before teleporting around. Yeah, I I think I, I preferred to go floor to floor, especially since 
we had some information about the dragon and like the mind flares I think on like the next floor but <clears throat> right yes. because we can't risk moving around through teleporting we need to know our way back and we don't get a level because what if something we were to happen to next? the stairs if something were to happen to next we can no longer use this, this gate <laughs> yeah, true. Next dies. <laughs> He's stuck. Right, no, I, it's no, a little, no, it's no. a little grim. It's a little cold. I understand, but it's, but it's the truth. Oh my we god, need to know our way back. the picture you posted is pretty accurate, but just add yeah. new earrings and the clipboard. <laughs> and yeah, that's Petra. It's from and, a, and the lipstick from a has different to be thing. more ruby red. It's oh, the only. Right, Glenda. We Petra. Also introduce you to the rest of the staff. Uh, this is God Swanson. I already uh, know him. You know. Okay, yes, we that's work, right. We this literally work in the same division. We're I'm like two cubicles well, I mean, like, over. I mean, he didn't have a oh, he didn't have a name before. There? He was like in the so it, it, okay whatever. No, we Anyways, got we got the princess. notification. He's Gob Swanson now. There's notifications. Yeah, we what have like a, a glowing light sort of panel that runs past and says so and so's name is now turned into this name as decreed. Huh. Oh well, what was his name before then? You watch this Gob Swanson who now apparently has a cigarette goes. <laughs> It was lost to time. <laughs> is it really lost to time? Or you just pretend that it's lost to time. You're actually obligated not lost to tell time? you, I'm afraid. Just lost to time is a great name. I'm so Anyways, mad. Th you have no princess. idea how mad I am. Like, we're, we'll be mostly taking the lead for, like, you all's safety, but, you know, like, it's good to have you on the team. I appreciate you. One fireball, these two are fucking gone. <laughs> <laughs> they're not really dead. Are you gonna collect? And the do goblins? they actually? <laughs> what? They haven't really done I'm much taking to help the. Us either. You have no idea. I'm taking the next gate. <laughs> but you're taking every game from now on until you roll that eight. Until I get a goblin like, secretary, yes. And then you retire immediately. <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> I can just leave this dungeon and leave happily ever after. Uh, let's go There's find the exit. Yeah. Yes, that's a good idea. Let's Should go. We try to the right. The south is going to be a little bit more difficult. If I was a betting man, I'm going to say the exit is either, either through that 70 foot hole where the zombies came from, or where, in that zombie cave, or where that statue is pointing. So let's hug the wall. Really don't want to go down seventy foot. <laughs> you are able to way, climb um, up. Hell, any, if anything, we can just send Wisp down. He can climb without any magic. Yeah. Uh, as we're exiting, that is also going back up. Uh, pardon, what's your name? Um, sorry, the Cavill. Cavill. Henry. Would you like to come with us? Cav not... Yes, Ken Henry Cavi. No, no, yes, no. Like Listen, you guys are something, but uh, I have to deal with Halster, and I have the book finished, which means. Yes. And we, and we gave him the admission form, so now he can uh, get into Dwemer Corps. Right. Yep, I just wanted right. to make sure, right. since, we're, since we're having a proper staff now, Listen, apparently. Man, I appreciate it. If you're ever in the area, you can hit the food gong, if you give me food. And I'll let you use the thing you just walked through, whatever you want. It was quite flavorful. Oh, you know, food in a dungeon. That's alright. It gives me a spell slot on refilling our water as well. Mm. Right then. Very well then, team. Let's get going. So what happens if you ring oh, it more than oh. once a day? It just doesn't work. Oh, I can talk Glinda. I'm gonna bong it. Gong. Yay. <laughs> just, you just wanted to hit it? <laughs> yeah. That, that childish version is like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like the, using the, the toot toot in the train. This likes music, and that's technically a musical instrument, kind of. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so pissed. <laughs> Here you go, Monty. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> the hair's a bit longer, but yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, hold on, I gotta show chat, or else they're gonna be like, what? Here you go, Please. chat. I just added a third Say hi, say hi to Glinda. The, the, this is the, the follow up, the sequel to Glinda the Gobbertary. God. Also, Bella's acting so to the tier once over 25 months. Thank you so much. 
There we go. So are we gonna have a uh, wisp go down the? We sure the, are. The there middle? might be loot down there. <clears throat> so you wanted me to go down this hole, right? Yes. You should this tie a rope to him. Me. I it was not made for you. Do you not <laughs> become one with the abyss. <laughs> Uh, how many ropes just do we have? In I have one. Yeah, I was going to say just in case. Do we want to give me a rope? I have one yeah. rope. There, but has been a, there has been a wall I was unable to climb. So I don't want it to like turn into a different wall when I can't climb. Uh, how, uh, does anyone else have a rope? We, we can use some yeah, anchor over here. Does anyone else have rope? I think, I think we I all think have rope. I think we just need to tie it together. Okay. Let's tie two rope together. I can only imagine how hard Monty's eyes rolled when you rolled another goblin assistant. Oh, it's space, dude. They went to fucking space. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have an entire, like, executive floor. At this You're point. gonna collect <laughs> goblins from the goblin division like you collect collectibles in a video game. If we get a third goblin, just... this will be my favorite campaign of all time. <laughs> I need I need a it's goblin goblin. It's just succession, it. but it's just goblins. Hell, if I get a goblin secretary, I'm just gonna turn that into my second second character. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You look down into the- I need to mark the goblins to determine who is who here. <laughs> <laughs> Give Glenda the red dot. Just edit one of the tokens to have lipstick. <clears throat> I don't think I have that. Here, I'll give Gob Swanson the grenade icon, because, you know. Ah, uh, Ambassador Pineapple. There you go. Ambassador You're Pineapple. You're with me. Oh. Alright. You guys are tying rope like around guiding How much rope do you have? I think uh, we're going to attach two together. Okay, that gives you a hundred feet. Uh, what should Linda's bike be? Let's see. I already have her. She's just, she's without the grenade. Oh, okay. Damn, I was hoping there was a Damn, lipstick. she didn't get a grenade? There's no there lipstick, like a lip no. Icon. I don't think there's a lip icon. Oh, uh, no. Let's look. There's like a Where's ninja damage? icon. There's a leaf icon. There's an eye bleeding a icon. Heart. A broken heart for Bracky. No, that's for Bracky, yeah. We'll just we'll just yeah, put a grenade me. on Gob Swanson. That's probably the easiest way to do it. I mean, if you run into other goblins, then we don't want them All to right. get mixed Wisp, up. Wisp, you head in the hole? Uh, head in the hole. Alright. It is filled with the rotting, fallen off chunks of meat. Uh, you notice that it is filled with the just unmovable remains of quagoths, uh, drow, a couple hobgoblins, <laughs> troglodytes, and uh, too old to be the individual that the Gisseri were looking for, but some Githyanki as well are actually down here. All of their gear is rotted beyond repair, and as you search around, go ahead and roll a perception check or an investigation check of your choice. No, oh, looks like you did the next down there. Let's find out. Mm. Perception or investigation? I think perception's the better one. Eighteen. Perfect. Eighteen. You look around, there's nothing of value in this hole. Yeah, I don't think there's much down here. Uh, maybe Nyx would be able to find something, but I don't know if I want to rummage around dead bodies too much more. Keep keep looking around. The lion is all pout pouting. <laughs> well, you do it. Do you I can't want me climb. to come down there with you, Yeah, Liv? you can use the rope. You're light, we can pull you up. I'll, like, we I'll keep forgetting this is where he, the Death Skull stored zombies. Maybe that was just the corpse hole. I, I guess Nyx will attach herself to the rope. Okay. <laughs> she'll she'll try to climb the wall if it lets her, but if it doesn't, she'll have the rope as a backup. All 
right, as you head down, go ahead and roll me a perception or investigation. Okay. Natural. Oh, double magic. Damn. Without a doubt, this hole contains nothing of value. I oh, wasted that. <laughs> There's, without a doubt, absolutely nothing down here. Thunderbird, okay. nothing. No, no. This is this is a cave. Okay. Well, as much as I hate to say it, the next like logical location is next down was the statue is. Yeah, yeah, because to the left there was a dead end. South, uh, Listen, northwest. I have my fair share of statues. If we're going down, there, someone goes first. Northwest was a dead end. Southwest was a dead end. North. Northeast is a dead end. So. The only other way would be south, but like I said, it's kind of hard to get there. Yeah, through the Mind Flare statues, so yeah. <clears throat> well, that or the one way with the teleportation trap. Okay, so I you guys you made were... it up to the statue and you were okay up again. Okay. Close to Maybe the statue. Look harder right? in the hole. There's more down there. I'm sure of it. Maybe you try rolling two natural twenties <laughs> and see what you see. <laughs> <I> still fail. <laughs> I will never be so perceptive again in my life, and I ruined that on a hole. I am still <laughs> living in that moment of fucking Lionel's absolute clap back. Mm. <laughs> just a man without a spell book. <laughs> oh. It was so funny. It was so fast. It was just like, bam, fuck you. There was vitriol. <laughs> I am upset. <laughs> <laughs> Lionel is not a happy boy right now. Um. Stay mad. Can I investigate the statue? Sure. This is the house or statue, this right? The house or statue, yeah. It seems to be life Watch out. If it looks at you, you might explode. At 21. This is a nice statue. It's made out of, uh, it's made out of, uh... Doesn't say what it's made out of. Hmm. I'm assuming stone. I'm just gonna say it's stone. A flesh stone. No, thank you. Also known as a person. <laughs> <laughs> well, this way I think leaves down to the trap with our dead war friend's body. Lionel kicks the statue. Just Nyx. kicks. Yeah. This pathway leads down. Oh my god, guys! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, thank god. Let's get out of here! Just... <laughs> oh, do we want to grab the Mind Flare Skull before we go down, or do we want to come back for it? Let's I... get the hell out of here, please! The, it, it's going to last for a certain amount of time, right? It's a limited time, yeah. It, it's a... One I mean, it's now, it would pick it up now eight. or never. <laughs> we should grab it now. Do you want to check it uh, then? No, because... Oh, uh, right, like, I'm... Down wow, to level, down to level 16. 16. You know what's so funny? That is, I think you were literally 15 feet away from seeing it last time you came down yeah, here. <laughs> you sure were, and then you turned Listen. around and I was like, okay. Oh, yeah. Listen, he, he didn't trust that statue's vibe. He's just looking back at it now, like, giving it the side eye. <laughs> 15 feet away. Can we can we do, like, a quick run back, grab, grab the skull, and, and leave? Oh, oh, do we want to go look for that guitar either? Yeah. I mean, if they're on this floor, I don't know where they would be. I think we have investigated almost every single room, right? There's a few close spots. Close to everything. It's very close. The couple doors by the Githerai we didn't explore, but that wouldn't make sense for it to be there. It would just be down south. Um, Look, if we, if we, the group who have been shouting Zonderbrook at random walls were not heard and they did not investigate, that's on them. <laughs> Do we look down here at all? I think that'll look. Yeah, maybe Am I crazy? Than... Yeah, 100% sure. Tiny hole. 
mysterious pole. Stop looking at her. Secret tunnel. Secret <laughs> tunnel. Secret tunnel. It, Two lovers. To the door that we were at earlier. It's so funny how close we got to this point like three times. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, I, the dwarf way. Uh, we came from up top, and we were down here. I just even asked you if there was no treasure, out though. <laughs> yeah, but even if I came <laughs> through, it'd be, to be fair, I probably wouldn't have come all the way up here without you guys. I mean, Nether Skull had nothing on it. Well then. Uh, so, anyways, mind flare skull. <laughs> Do we want to grab it now or no? Yeah, I'm gonna just let's just go run, jump over the treasure. We know they're there. The only thing is, there is skull. one teleport trap. Yeah. Who is the most likely to be able to get back to us? Uh, me, because I can just teleport back. Okay, then you're going to have to go first and get teleported, and the rest of us are going to have to stay out of the room because we're affected by whatever Bane or Boon effect goes off. I'm just going to jump over. Teleported. I will say for the sake of brevity. Yeah. <laughs> you grab the skull because that's across the fucking map. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't want to have to reveal everything again. Yeah. So Do we want to take we'll a short mar rest? Here mark off well? a teleportation spell to avoid the trap, but beyond that. Okay. Oh. Yeah. If you're grabbing. Oh, is that a, is if... the case I can just stop with the trap? Yeah, I don't need to use a, a spell. I can just. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm asking if we want to take a short rest here before we head down. Uh, I'm still pretty good. What about? I yeah, but you didn't get hit by stuff. all the lava guys. Uh. All right. That is true. Here is what you're gonna do. Who's grabbing the... Lionel? You're grabbing the skull. Yep. As you go back to that hidden area and you take the skull, I'd like you to roll me a d10, please. One d10. <sighs> here we go. Don't. No. You got this. Ah. <sighs> The effect will last for three days. Three days? It's better than a one or a two. Yeah, I, this is one of the lowest. What was this for? for? Sorry, I missed it. Uh, this is... Something. For the skull pretty much means that you can't be detected by mind oh, flare, so... Yeah, I, yeah. Remember, I, remember, I remember. So if we're holding on to it, um, we're kind of invisible to mind flares. Yeah, the creature well, holding why it, not? the creature who possesses the skull is invisible to mind flayers. For three days. For three days. Do we? I mean, what do we know about mind flayers? Like we we fought a couple, right? Nix is traumatized. <laughs> we fought two? No. No, we, we bullied one. one. We we bullied one in a hamster ball. <laughs> yeah. Nix felt very vindicated by that. Right. Anyways, do you guys want to take a short rest and then we'll... I, I, I think it, it could be beneficial. Yeah, well, yeah, I like, know a couple of you guys are going I will say floor. this, don't worry about a short rest, because once you guys go down these steps, you level up, so... Oh! <gasps> Let's go! Let's just charge down! <laughs> go, 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 run faster, faster! Right. I push this on the stairs! <laughs> she clings to the walls and scurries. <laughs> and then I fall down. <laughs> As you all immediately and excitedly make your way down to floor 16 of Dungeon of the Mad Mage, that is where we're going to end the session. Let's go! Oh, so oh, level 14, level baby! Level up to level 14. Does that count as an instant like, long rest? We'll, I'll give you guys a long rest instantly, yeah. yeah. Oh, I think shit. we've talked about how when we travel between floors, we usually do the long rest because of yeah. how long yeah, it takes. Like the travel time. Yeah, I will say, just out of fairness for you, um, it, I won't count this long rest towards your skull time, just because it's kind of annoying. As we picked it gotcha. up. You just picked yeah. it up, so I'm going to say, after this long rest, that's when you have your days. So. Well, that's very gracious. Thank you, Monty. Guys, I get blind sense now. Pog? Yo! Oh, that's right. What do I get? No more oh, invisible I, I enemies. Get, I get blind friends. sense. I can tell who's blind. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to that hobgoblin floor. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These people are blind. They start like walking into walls. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, mm. I'm gonna have to like ask some questions about that. But if it's that's what I think it is, that's gonna be good. 
I get an also ability uh, increase again. Also, like just I can ask later. Never mind. Yeah, we'll probably have to talk like off stream about it. Because I think 14 is a bit. I don't know, it's a tower spike for some classes, but not for all of mm -hmm. them, I don't think. Oh, we take the average on HP, right? Yes, you take the average. Oh no, I can take a feat because I took a uh, level 10, I took Sentinel, level 12, I took the uh, ability score increases. So this level, I can take a feat. Good session, guys. Congratulations, yeah. you made it through 415 of Dungeon of the Mad Mage. But most importantly, we have a second <laughs> Goblin Secretary. <laughs> <laughs> most importantly. Yeah. Uh, how yes. did we get here? We got to 415 uh, and we obtained two goblins. God damn it, I need to go through those gates. There are five players. Two of them have received goblins, one of them is not correct. We've gone through 15 <laughs> floors. Who's gonna get gobbed next? We only just now rolled the goblin one. Like, yeah. That means I have to try harder. Holy yeah, it's true. Lordy. It d d does sound like a skill issue, Brecky. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking the fucking Nesco had nothing on it? Good day, sir! Why? Why would it have treasure? Because he kills a lot of adventurers. Yeah. Although I guess... Not, not for a collection, it's because he fucking hates them. Oh, I guess Halicia <laughs> takes the treasure. Like we also get inspiration at the start of a new floor, right? Hmm? Do we all get inspiration at the start of a new floor? You or is do. it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey! That can be pretty Guess what? Much. If I have a with aid on, I finally get above 100 hit points. <laughs> oh my god. But only specifically with the aid on. You guys, are level, like... you guys are level 14 now. This is crazy. This is getting goofy. This is also. Getting... Uh, for sorcerers, like they can change like spells, like only at the level. But it's like at, like amongst like say if I want to like change something, change a fourth level sl slot to get a uh, <laughs> or spell to get a sixth level one. Is that okay, or does it have to be on the same level? Uh, no, you can swap it out. Uh, it can be any. Yeah. But the the, Ooh, the thing is, you limit that. your lower level, which you have more of. So it's like well, yeah. I use kind of I use those to just ways. reload. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's the thing. It's. Sometimes it's nice to have those lower levels, though. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's all I get. I'm... Yeah, I didn't <laughs> get much. Yeah, 14 is sometimes good for... I think it's good for Bertrand, actually, and, and Nyx, but it might not be as good for the spellcasters. I think 15 is the power spike. Yeah, 15 for spellcasters. Yeah. I think you get level really... 8 spells? Could be wrong. That might be I get level. my 8d6 sneak attack next level. Keep in mind, yeah. if you are getting new spells, remember what the limitations are. Don't take spells from books that aren't allowed. Just a reminder, because mm -hmm. it's been a while. So keep that in mind, especially because now there's new spells that just got added to the game as well. If I take mounted combat, use princess to mount. Mine was so easy, I just had to up my health, and then I got blind sense. <laughs> Very yeah. easy level up for me. Pretty, pretty simple. Yeah, level 15, I think, is when 8th uh, level spells start showing up, so... Nyx is yeah. never going to be jumped by a bathroom goblin now, or... Uh... I don't know <laughs> so that you would anyway. That is not how that demon. works, but... No, no, I meant, I meant he can't be invisible above me um, without me noticing. No, Princess does not get HP. She is a fucking oh. mule, and neither do the goblins. <laughs> they get Bell's dental and maternity ones. leave. That's their level up. Oh, well, that's that's a good, good one. I get two new spells. Yeah. I need to start using conjuration shit. I'm a conjuration wizard. I don't fucking use summons. I need to use those more. It's just they're not that many good. I I I'm, right. I'm so excited for this next floor. I have decided on the feat I'm picking. Oh. Alrighty. I'm gonna take resilient and choose wisdom. <laughs> I'm tired of failing wisdom saves. Oh my Dude, God. I was gonna do that like two level, like a couple level ups ago, but uh, 
I, I, I get wisdom saving throws at level 15, so it's not worth it. So wow, I that's so wait. cool for you, Shane. <laughs> I have to wait. I still don't. I'm still not proficient in them. <laughs> I'm 1% more likely to talk to Lyra and she'll listen to me. I'm actually really bad at wisdom saving throws. The secretary now knows how to do taxes twice as fast. That's way too strong of an ability. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Well, I'm gonna head out here. Uh, thank you for the session. Oh, before we raided? Yeah, I've. I've oh, yes, that's right. All right, well, uh, let's, right, let's, we're let's, let's, I let's, let's, yeah, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's raid wow. first. Some people are just like, they... you know what, chat? I see you. I love and appreciate you. I'm here with you guys. Sorry. <laughs> Only on like, well, let's be cool. Uh, let's raid Edward okay. Boobsko. Hell yeah. Explain Tomb Raider. They're raiding the tomb. Just want to make sure I have the right name. All right. Uh, what should our raid message be? Goblin, mm, goblin, goblin, goblin plus one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> goblin plus one. That will be our raid message. Once I see that in chat, then we'll raid. Oh, man, I'm excited for the next floor. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, I'm finally oh, glad we're done with the nightmare game show floor. Oh, honey, you got a big storm coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am excited. Oh, no. All right. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.